<laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to today's session of Dance and Dice. I'm Toby the Dungeon Master and today is session number 34. Oh yeah. I'm not alone, I am joined by these guys. And as you can see, Seek is, as you can see... Dick. Seek is not here today. <laughs> so uh, for whatever happens today, Seek will be portrayed by... <laughs> Me! Emails, <laughs> Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> Grim Dale. Then we introduce ourselves. Oh, uh, my name is Marcus, and I'll be playing Dominic Grimdale, the half orc fighter, and the sorcerer Seek. Who is us? Who is a satyr? And my name is Julian, and I'll be playing Barsoon, the tiefling wizard. And uh, how long have we been playing this campaign now? It's been almost we started a year now. Almost Thirty-three year? sessions. It's crazy. It is one year in. I think. Real time. I dated year. our first session back to October third. So time flies. Eleven months. Time flies. Oh my god! Then it hasn't been a year. And then, uh, who else was at the table? My, my name is uh, Emil, I will be playing the half orc bar Jimble Gong Grimdale. Grimdale. Level my name is <laughs> 5. <laughs> and my name is 15. <laughs> my name is Satyr. My name is. My name is. Spaghetti. Kevin Fairwood. Give me your My name is Frederick. That's who we are now, let's play some DD. <laughs> Our group found themselves having just fought in what they have now decided to call sewer. Um, they continued, they fought some more, and then they fought some more. And then uh, at one point, in the middle of the water, a gem was found, which the group found out lit up when it um, was, it was when, when it was in contact with water. Uh, also, they found different valves, thank you, Basun, um, mm. which could uh, be taken off the pipes they were attached to, which all, like, the two, you have two valves? Yeah. Uh, both of uh, which have the same infinity slash Shadow Thieves symbol on that, uh, that the group has seen in the past. So they have taken those two with them. Um, we have evolved. Uh, Gong almost got killed by a trash monster. Oh. Kevin almost died after having <laughs> just fought a big frog octopus monster. Oh. Frog octopus. Frog octopus. <laughs> and Toby creature. Um, and uh, just when the group said, you know what, maybe we should rest, they instead decided to continue their endeavors further, um, which led to them hearing some small <laughs> sounds, which if we go back and watch the previous episode, that's probably not at all the episode I made then, but now that's what they sound like. And uh, they were to be seen by a not that big yet somewhat terrifying creature. 
and that is where we start today's session. Oh yeah. And I say to the creature, you are you are no son of mine. To um, you did. to refresh your memory. The creature that you saw Looks when we smite. finished last session. And I shall smite the <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah he looks like that. Looked something like this. Uh, so Demogorg. it's uh, not that tall, it's, it's not that big a creature, but it has these it. arms that go slimy, slimy out to the uh, mm-hmm. out to the no, side. I'm gonna ride it. <clears throat> Whoa! I'm gonna and, uh, the shit out of You're that. staring at it, and it just we ended the session where it <laughs> looked to you. Who were all standing back going. Okay. And I have my dancing lights here. You, the dancing lights are being shaped as a person by yeah. this being, and it continues <laughs> to the um, kind of keep its focus on it until, as we finish last session and start now, it looks to all of you. Can I put my dancing lights on it? Uh, yes. Weren't they just? These are my dancing lights. I would. Uh, and it stops, <laughs> and it looks to all of you. It's a I would like game. to try yeah, to. I actually, where are the red ones? It just stands red there and you kind of confused for a second. Ah! I would I like to try and mm-hmm. use thaumaturgy uh, and uh, intimidate the creature to flee uh, with uh, voice boom. I boom my voice uh, to make it three times as loud as normal for one minute. Okay. And then oh. I, I whisper, cover your ears. And then I shout, "Get out of here!" Make a performance check with advantage. Ooh. Oh, you know, intimidation check. That's intimidation. Makes sense. I do this. <laughs> We're very immersed in this story. Ooh. Oh, that's a net twenty. Oh, oh. good shit! Oh, you oh, see oh. this being. <laughs> and as soon as everyone goes, huh, and you kind of hold your she- uh, your sword like this, and like, oh! <laughs> um, and as soon as everyone does it, you just go, Rawr! you can just kind of feel how all the water starts uh, shaking, and you see, <laughs> like this being just instantly sprints off. I'm very frightened though, as well. Uh, yes. You all <laughs> start running. Even, even, with, even with your hands in your ears, it would have given a, uh, a big shake a roo to all of you. Good, yeah. that's taken care of that. Soon. And as soon as you stop, you see how the water, which was for a brief moment, it kind of stopped the current around you. Now it just slowly <laughs> starts flowing again. Um, full super sighting. Holy shit, that's soon. And yeah. was that, that was the draconic a- ancestry? What? That was uh, yeah. something I haven't done a lot of, but I've been saving Ooh. it for special occasion out. I could just feel I was fed up with all the fighting. Yeah. So let's go. That was you saying. That's nice. I could feel that. I could feel your soul, man. Yeah. Maybe you I You should be a part of my band someday. Could it be your backup vocal? Yeah, maybe. Just in case think about it. Think about it. And band. lyricist. Consider that this an audition then. I can <laughs> yell really loud. Thank you for consideration. If you're a part of his band. Oh, yes. Gone, gone, the less we talk about those, the better. I think. Yeah, I think you're right. Um, all right. Talk about what? Nothing. Nothing. But uh, let's. Uh, so what now? I think I could really use a rest. I definitely think we should try to see if we can get some rest. Maybe go a bit further back. I think that's into a good the idea. sewer. Yeah, back to the back to the the, the two buddies or to. I mean, they've been lying there for some time, so maybe that's. It could be a good place to, to go to try to, to rest. Maybe near them, but not like at their place because it's kind of disgusting. That we should move them definitely. Get yeah. them. Well, it is starting to smell, so the further we get away from that trash thing, the better. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Maybe we should go to where we fought that, where we just came from. Oh, oh yeah, the, uh, the, the second the, valve. Yeah, with the second First valve. First valve, the second, second valve. By the waterfall thing. Yeah, because yeah. if there's trash there, it goes away. Then yeah. it doesn't smell. That's a good idea. There was a lot of space. Let's go yeah. back to where we came from. Yes. Yeah. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Right. We, we do want that. to do that. You. When we go past this, I really want to check if anything's in these boxes. Hey, guys, can you wait a minute? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Sure. sure. <laughs> you start making your way back. I suppose it's the southernmost area with the, the where, where you almost the uh, froctopus. Got, the froctopus, exactly. <laughs> I can um, do and as you start walking back in set direction, you come by these crates, and you don't even have to touch them to see that they're as fallen apart as everything else you've seen in this cave. I think I'm going to kick them so away. Far. As you engage <laughs> with them, and you expect at least just a bit of resistance, it's yeah. as if the wood literally just crumbles around your feet. It just oh. <laughs> falls to pieces. Kevin, calm down. Yeah. We'll find we'll find Grom. Don't don't worry. Yeah. We'll, we need to rest, and then... I guess he's not in these boxes. Well, observation take that one off. You continue. Um, how far do you, <coughs> do you go all the way the down, down to the front Yeah, which, with the, the stairs and down stuff. The, is that a mouse here? There it is. Great. You oh, head your way. You flee the mouse. How far in do you go? I all the way I, I would suggest. Bottom, I would suggest here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's, a good, cool. that's, that's a good. That's a good place. Spot. Yeah. yeah. You make your way oh. down to the uh, corner spot. To I am. Um, I can take the first watch. And I would like to see if I can, um, as a ritual, mm-hmm. cast uh, Leumit's tiny hut. Mm-hmm. Oh. How much space does the hut need? 10 foot radius. So it needs hut 10 hut. by 10. Oh, it is that what it means? Oh, in 4 by 4 squares. Two yeah. by two. So I, get, I feel like there is that space in, in, yeah. in there. It's like a half a square. It needs four by four. Four by four. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So it's mm-hmm. 10 in radius, right? <clears throat> yeah. So it's four it's not on two. the width. It's double up. Okay. Yeah. Four by four. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So it's four by four. Right. So that's I have my one, one person three, tank. Four. One, two, three, 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 four. Just put it over the water as well. Over the water. Then we can do like If we go here into the middle, is it possible? But there are pipes and stuff. I can sit on the pipe. I would like yeah, to put my one person. It says nothing about here. height, height. So I guess the pipes might not be a problem. No. You uh, fiddle around for a little bit, trying to. I mean, again, you haven't used this spell before, but you start your ritual. Yes. And you see how uh, pretty quickly this dome that you're making has a hard time kind of fitting in. So you move around for yeah. a little bit. Uh, while trying to cast this um, this spell, and for the sake of sakes, you objects to objects within the dome when you cast the spell can move through it freely. Yes, so yeah. you manage to get the uh, oh, nice. the dome cast in the bottommost corner. Uh, I'll read up on rules in regards to whether there are actual limitations to casting it if there's not space for it. But for mm. the sake of right now, to be you do manage to cast the dome. Lovely. In that That's case, I will not put up my one person tent. Makes perfect sense. Thank you. Do it very smart. Ah. I uh, I command the inner uh, part of the dome to be dimly lit, a mm-hmm. bit a uh, bit more light there. I can take the first one. What do you guys have in terms of torches and light and whatnot? Right? I have brought have my dancing, dancing lights. lights. Okay. That's all I need to know. I think I'm well, I have uh, five torches left. I give you two torches. And I, I just uh, kind of I'm a very gentle guard. God. Uh, creatures from guard. outside won't be able to see see us inside the dome, but we can see out out. Oh, that's, that's a nice uh, trick. I don't know if we're uh, invisible, but I think it says something here. Let me just see. Uh, the dome is opaque from the outside, so it's kind of. A bit, uh, like we're mushed in a sense, or opaque, what, what does that mean again, opaque? It's, um, I mean, it's not transparent, you can't see through, so it's essentially just a dome. I mean, for anyone else coming past it, it just mm. looks like a dome. Yeah. Of the co- whichever yes, color you want. Yes, not able to be seen through. Exactly, yes. so it's, it just blocks off any vision. So if you put the lights inside the dome, no one's going to see the... But you already have light. Yeah, yeah, I do. I do. Yeah, it's not like we don't need light in the dome, but if you put them outside, people will you notice the lights. You can see the, the walls a bit. Ah, that's true. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you can shut them off. Yeah, you can shut them off. Yeah. I just yeah. turn off my lights. As you turn off your dancing lights, then you're all about to head into the, uh, the dome itself. For the first time, but just for a brief moment, it's completely dark. 
inside the cave until you mean open up and enter mm. and you see as it becomes completely dark the water starting to light up kind of in a faint blue color guys are you seeing this oh like wow. the water and as you start looking around you can see that i mean everything that you can see <coughs> is lit up but everything for you would be dim light so people with dark vision would see now the entire cave as normal vision. I would like to use the tick magic as a uh, ritual. Mm-hmm. Mm, that's going to take you 10 minutes. While he does oh, that, yeah. can we try the stone yeah. in the water to see if something see happens. happens? Yeah, good idea. Yeah, so we try to take the stone. And as you take the stone out, the before you put it in the water, you see that it starts glowing in your hand as well. Before it's in the water? Yes. What uh, same color blue or the same color as the water? It's because like a faint blue light. Oh. And when the water came on, it was it's like a. It's color. the same. same oh, light. it's the same. Light. The same I thought it was a yellow, yellow red, light. Red Sorry. Light. It looks like <laughs> you don't need. Uh, that might be me explaining it wrong. So. Uh, all right, mm-hmm. I tried to check the rock to see if there's any markings mm-hmm. on it or anything. It just seems like a very um, smooth, a very smooth gemstone. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I tried to put my hand down in the water. Very slowly. Water. You feel splash, I splash it on the gym and see if it lights more uh, when you... Same exact thing. Oh, it doesn't change. Mm. It doesn't look like we need more torches. That's uh, We've been wasting torches all this time. We have How could you? <laughs> no torch <laughs> has been wasted, mind you. But yes, we have been wasting torches. <laughs> oh well, that's mm-hmm. right. Mm. Uh, I put the stone back. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, that's that's a relief. As long as there's water, and as we'll soon have light. As you come in to the, the dome. I mean, into the dome, we have whichever yeah. lighting you prefer there yeah. to be inside. Just a faint, maybe an uh, in inspiration of the water light. Uh, mm-hmm. The same kind the of faint. RGB. Faint. Faint, uh, nice. yes, and then some music uh, would like to. <laughs> That's a presentation do that. token. It's a very long spell description. <laughs> I, 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 uh, I'll to. use presentation and seek and yeah. do like a small basement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna sit outside the door. <laughs> <laughs> Can't sleep in here. So you sit down. I think we should you rest here. Kick back. Do you do anything in particular? You used. Um, the tech magic? magic have it activated but again it doesn't seem I sense nothing other than what you're carrying all items this. and my dome and the dome itself would have a faint aura of magic as well mm. I mean it's purely magic I just didn't want to blind you because you were inside right. <laughs> and when 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 I look at the water does it seem like it's the water lighting or the stones underneath it seems like it's the water itself. Okay. Make a... Uh, well, you can decide. Do you want to make an account check? For anything that you could find reasoning within, like, whatever. What? A magical book? Yes, I would, love, I would love to. Would you rather do a history check? I think I, I would no like magic to do... about this water. No magic? Then I would like you to do it. a nature check, too, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. if then uh, let me try a history check. Mm-hmm. Yeah, nature check. No, I would like to do a history. Yeah. History. What? Not me. History check. Did you? Hey, no. that's. That's a good roll. <laughs> that's a twenty-four. Okay, that is a good roll. You haven't seen this phenomenon before, but you have heard of lakes in caves and different areas where water has tendencies of lighting up on its own. Mm. Uh, you don't remember the exact biological reason as to why it happens, but um, you remember that within some caves, as long as there's no, um, what do you call it? Not artificial forced light. Artificial but, light. Uh, uh, light, yeah, from, uh, from other sources. As long as it's the only light, uh, Sometimes water has the like ability to light itself up. Right. While it only be a dim mm. light, it's still enough for you to uh, look around. Right. And especially for the ones of you who have dark vision. 
Yeah, well, you're right. There's nothing, nothing in particular we have to worry about about the water. It's not, it shouldn't be connected to anything <coughs> particular in of noteworthy. Yeah, you say that until mm-hmm. anything jumps out of that lake. Of course, but but maybe now that there's light, we can actually see if something's coming. Yeah, would be lovely. Uh, well, I would like to sleep now. Yes, let's sleep. Mm-hmm. I think I dropped another die. It, what do we need? Don't I'm missing the green version of this one. The green one. Oh, it was <laughs> camouflaged on the I map. found it. Thank you. you. Um, Go to sleep. You people. sit in here for a while, while you're exhausted Go from sleep. all Go the sleep. endeavors and fights you've been mm-hmm. through. You aren't immediately sleepy. I like to think that mm. those are two different things. Like if you went out for a sprint, you'd be exhausted, but it wouldn't necessarily mean that you're tired, per se. Um, so you sit for a little while, um, chat with one another, look at maybe if there are different items that you've been given to just... I mean, you haven't really had that much time up until now to really sit and study them, I suppose you could say. Um, um, I assume that um, that journal or diary we found on the bodies mm-hmm. of the two were. Uh, did you uh, did you get a chance to look at look at it more, or uh, was yes. there anything uh, other than the notes by the end? That we not as not as far as something usable. It was mm-hmm. very yes. old and. Yeah, I mean, I think I've managed to read what what was available to us uh, with the handling of of the book because it was just so old. Oh yeah, with the end, with the dead ends everywhere, and exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that was the only thing I, I I could read, and I tried to read the first bits, and but it, it was nothing of interest, nothing, nothing Fair we right. could use for anything. I see. All right. Um, can I can I look at those valves? Mm. Yeah, I have one. Thanks. I, I want to check those if there are any secret markings or if they open in some way or anything like that. You sit around. I mean, sit and study them for a bit, but they seem pretty ordinary. Um, the what is that word in English? Where they attach mm. to the. Um, the pipes that they've been on, they look very identical. Okay. Um, both of them, I suppose you look, I mean, look at one and then maybe take yeah, a yeah. look at the other. Um, they look very, very identical, but mm. you notice that where one has like one little, imagine like a key uh, where they have all these different spikes yeah, yeah, and yeah. different things to make them different from one another. One has like a small dent in, in one area, yeah. where the other one has two. Okay. So, are you sleeping or are you you're sitting? Again, no chair? one's really. No, no, no. I mean, you're all sitting, yeah. closing eyes. Going, oh my God, please let me fall asleep. So uh, for mm, now, yeah. at least for a little while longer, you're still, still awake. Um, you're still yeah. awake, but I mean, relaxed and technically you'd be giving short rest, short rest, short rest, short rest right now. But you're, I mean, yeah, yeah. still yeah. relaxing for. So look at this. These are almost identical, mm-hmm. but these attachments are different. So mm. either they attach to different places, or maybe something like they we need more of them to open something. Maybe mm. yeah. Uh, what what's the difference between them? Did well, you say? one of them have, has one of these tags, and the other one has two. And you see, as you both like look at them both, they look like they're very, you like very similar. Uh, Yes, it looks like it's man-made. It's not just a dent that has come oh. from something. Yeah. It's small, like right. ticks down in them. And like and it's supposed the one to be with there. Two looks like two very specific copies of the one. Same. So yeah, it looks very purposefully made. Perhaps uh, if we go Maybe. check uh, one of the the, the the places where we got them to see if the pipe has any indication of dents as well. What to see if they're mixed up. That's well, we tried idea. both both wells down here. That's true. Yeah. But we didn't check the dent thing. That's new information. Yeah, that's true. 
What if what if it opens one of the pipes? How? Well, if if we can put it in somewhere in in one of those uh, pipes with the uh, with fencing on, mm. it can open it up. Uh, how how? <laughs> I ain't no plumber. Like, like like a key. So if it, so if this really is a key to somewhere. So like the the bars would open up or. Yeah. But isn't that more like a grate, like in front that can open, like bars are yeah. inside? How did they look when we saw them? Where the bars, yeah, Could the bars be. were inside. Yeah. What if there is one nice. place that we need all of these valves? We don't know if there's more of them. Yeah, we haven't checked this whole sewer out. Nope. We still need to. <coughs> Welcome to Crimore sewers. <laughs> yeah, there's still there's still more to be seen yeah. down where where that uh, thing was that you scared off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There might be a third. Valve. With three tacks on it. For some reason, usually there's always three or seven. But it's also but interesting. Only nine or ninety-nine. <laughs> but and it's also interesting with that room. One hundred and one dimension. The, the uh, orange goo were uh, that there were these three. Oh yeah, there were three pipes. Three pipes there. That's true, and they it could be. One of them poured out the water when. We yeah, touched the trap, we, uh, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, when I when I stepped on the railing, that was somehow maybe trapped or something, mm. or just came out. Well, at least we know there is one way you haven't checked out yet. Yeah, yeah. You sit Ooh. around for an hour or two, chatting. I mean, again, you've been studying the rocks. You spend a little while to cast your detect magic and. Uh, You've all kind of in, taken turns in looking at these valves, um, and it doesn't take much longer before mm. all of a sudden you start feeling your exhaustion turning to tighter, tighter. Um, and I don't know if you coordinated anyone to. Sit I would. Um, I would very much like to take the first one. Do it. I can first take the second one. Gap shift. That is, Dominic would like to do that. No. Yes. Sieg sleeps. Sieg has already gone to bed. Sieg is, just, yeah. Sieg is just done, man. He's using a sorcery point to fall asleep. <laughs> Sleep. <laughs> twin, twin spell. Divided only less a minute. Um, it's enough. Yeah. Hopefully. I, oh man. Like I would like I would like to actively listen. Mm hmm. And see if I hear or see see. <laughs> see hear, if hear, I hear if, hear if I see. See if I uh, hear anything like. Um, you sit inside the dome. I sit inside the dome right now. Okay. I'd like to step uh, out of it just for a moment. Mm -hmm. You come out, and I, I just assume everyone else has um, gone to bed yes. in their own ways. Could you I you sit for a little by the water? Unless, did you want to do anything? Yeah, no, I, I just wanted to see, like, in the time that we were talking, mm -hmm. uh, if I could try and hold out the um, the stone in the darkness outside of the That's door. what you did. Oh, that's what we did. You were okay. Water, yes. okay, but that was next it to works the water. There. No, no. No, it's no it lights up uh, in it the dark okay. as well. Cool. As you sit down, you, you have dark vision as well. Yeah. Yes. You sit down and again, you see how this room, which is, and you know, it goes all the way down till the end, uh, is now for you lit up uh, pretty much most, I mean, all the way down till the end uh, because of the water. Oh. Um, and mm -hmm. you're pretty much hearing what the ambience gives off. I mean, you see the stream of water continues to come down. It's not like a... <laughs> Mm -hmm. ton of water coming through, but imagine like a small waterfall on a cliffside or something like that. So there's a continuous sound of water, of waves. Um, the stench has become worse, but it's not really something that I think you have thought too much no. of. And maybe you don't even think about it right now. You've just been in it for, for too long now to really consider it a big issue. Yeah. Also, I don't think I mean, neither Cremor or just living in this world was ever a perfume, nice smells every single day nope. thing. 
So let me put it this way: the smell is not that bad that you. It's not think trash about. monster bad. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, you sit down. You look over the water, and you hear like echoes of maybe what sounds like small rats oh. somewhere uh, far That's away. Nice. That's nice. But nothing. Uh, nothing happens within the first one or two hours that you sit there. Cool. 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 Uh, can I feel the water? No. No, oh, I'm gonna feel the water. <laughs> <laughs> you can't. Uh, uh, it uh, is, it, is it like? Is it like when you when you touch it, it's kind of like moil? You know. Oh, the uh, like the light is uh, the light. interacting with the movement oh, yeah. in the in the no, water. No, I mean okay. not, not really. It's okay. just I mean if you splash and it comes up on your hand, yes, it, oh. for a brief moment, whichever part of you is yeah. under the water, it would interact that way. Yes. Cool. Um, but it's it's smelly. It's not like it crawls up your hand and sits and stays there in any way. It it no. interacts like water. Yeah, all right. And everything that is the water has this aura. And now then, I am very much satisfied. Mm-hmm. Yep, satisfied. Satisfied. Anything else? No. Nope. You sit your shift and nothing really happens. I go and uh, wake up uh, Kevin. Yeah. Yo, bro. Uh, <laughs> what a... Oh, yeah, I just stand You want to keep a lookout? Definitely. Did you see anything? Nothing. Just... Just super noise. We could be lucky that we're alone now. Perhaps. Yeah. Just go to sleep. I'll take the next shift. Right. <laughs> And you I sit, yeah. yeah, I position myself on this uh, uh, pipe here, mm-hmm. mainly looking down this way, looking yeah. at that black abyss down in the bottom. <laughs> you can hear down there, again, it's not loud, but no. you can hear, that. that's where all the water is flowing off. I guess there. it's lit up now, right? Yeah. It would be, uh, I mean, it's not completely, also it's pretty far down. Mm-hmm. So even with, I don't know, do you have black vision? Yeah. You do. Um, but even then, oh, it's whoa. still far enough away and goes downhill pretty fast. Mm. So you would only see the top of what appears to be, mm. uh, yeah, the ceiling of that. Secret oh, entrance oh. way to the bad Secret guy's lair. Oh, yeah, And there's like a small sign saying back three roll. extra levels down this <laughs> way. Yeah, that's why I wrote one and three. <laughs> the uh, yeah, I I would like to try and find uh, some sort of stick or stone, something that floats. Is there anything here, yeah. stick or stone? I mean, what you, again, what you see on the map is what you see. There are small... I would like to take one of those planks. Yeah, Don't you understand? Small planks that you walk across. Yeah. Yeah, take one so I go out the dome and I go in again if it's possible. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if you've been granted like access, you can walk in and out. Great. So I take as that as I and I... Uh, I lie down on my stomach and I try to make it float and watch it go You ba- see downward. now, I mean, initially I should put it down, it just works mm. in the water for a little bit. Then as soon as it makes its way down towards where the, uh, where the kind of the slide of mm. water comes down, you see how it pretty quickly gains speed. And within a couple of seconds, you just see <laughs> it kind of just falls over. Hmm. The edge down in the the back end. Yeah. And I just sit there and watch out for any dangers. Time goes by. Nothing happens. Yeah. And I go to Barzun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Waking up. Ooh, give it. Barzun. Uh what's up? Hey, if anything, no, nothing's been here. No All one's right. been here. Right. But uh Right. Please warn us if you use that yelling again. Of course. <laughs> I don't think you'll hear anything inside the hut, though. Or maybe you will. Mm. I'll have to check the spell. <laughs> mm. How long you is the spell? You do. You can be a bad, like, rude DM and just have people stand outside the hut and <laughs> yell into it and they're <laughs> not giving long rests. Cool. Because yeah. they can't I, come um, into it, so they can just go... La, 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 if, they know, if they know what it is. <laughs> yeah. If I sit and try and meditate, oh. do I still get a long rest? Can I do that? You only have to sleep 
for four. Cool. No, wait, six of the eight hours, I think, right? And so I've been keeping guard for... Just one and a half, two ish. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm always taking for granted that you're uh, taking turns so that everyone yeah. has a shift. Unless if you say, I want to sleep through the entire no. night. So yeah, it would have been like one and a half hour. Cool. I'm going to sit and meditate until I fall asleep. Make a religious check. Religion. Yeah, that's not good. Uh, that's a five. You sit, and again, you've done this a couple of times mm. at this point. Sit and try to remember that again. Yeah, and it's as if the finger tinkling and everything that's been happening, and you can't, whether it's where you are or what you've been through mm. recently, you can't really seem to connect with anything. Mm. Uh, or at least nothing that you would consider supernatural um, but it still does help you uh, with your tiredness and it, it doesn't take long before you lay down and uh, pause it. Yeah. Yes, I um, go out of the hut mm-hmm. or the sphere and... Um, we speed up the mind this you don't have to. Mm. Yeah. Um, I stand there for a while in the dark and I just um, kind of think about all the crazy stuff that's happened since we got here and, and I start thinking about the uh, the whole puzzle thing mm-hmm. that I've been asked several times if I'm good at puzzles and I sort of try to connect what few dots there might have been and see if I can come to any sort of idea of what the hell, why they would ask that of me. As you sit during your ship, there is no, I mean, again, as you were saying too, it's, it puzzles you. Oh, then <laughs> you've heard this a couple of times now without any real substance to it or without any immediate connection to anything you would have done or experienced mm. yourself. You do remember uh, Sephir and you having done puzzles Mm -hmm. when you were younger. Mm. Uh, I take it as maybe one of the board game Wednesday sort of things that you've had after you closed up shop or if you found some fun, maybe magical puzzle, uh, like the Japanese box box puzzles Mm -hmm. or whatever, something like that. Uh, Whenever he's brought one of those home before he has eventually either sold or given it away to someone, you would always have had the chance to play around with it. Mm beforehand but there's nothing I mean other than that which I assume Basun would consider this could have been anyone mm. there's uh, nothing yeah. special that comes no to connections mind. between the people that ask me right either who asked you well I feel like uh, Neil Rem who was a skilled mage mm. uh, there was a guy at the uh, at at the um, it was a shop. I don't remember which which shop it was. I didn't get his name, but felt like you were uh, I was out with shop. yeah the sage shop exactly. Like just talked about puzzles. Mm, okay, not as far as I remember. I feel like he briefly mentioned it, but probably okay. not. Maybe it was something else, or maybe it's just been Neil Rem then. I think it was only Neil Rem. Mm. I might be remembering wrong, but I'm mm. pretty sure it was only him. Mm. In any case, the oh. answer remains the same. There's if nothing there. You know that, I mean, you've done puzzles sure. and you're pretty good at them. Mm. But again, you have nothing really to compare it to. You never attended a little old youth puzzle tournament 2017. No. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's not really been a thing where you've come out and yeah. had a chance to prove your skills. No, and it's that like... Regard uncommon weird thing mm. Mm, okay I try to just um, shift my attention outwards to mm-hmm. look a bit at the water uh, listen to if I, if I hear any any anything coming this way mm-hmm. see anything in the water that might be there make a perception check Perception. Let me just check real quick, and that is a nine. Don't sense anything. 
sense anything out of the ordinary. Um, it remains very quiet and peaceful. Then I'll just um, enjoy the peace and quiet and mm -hmm. wait out my, my, my shifts and uh, hope that I'll be able to wake up Gonk when the time comes. <laughs> We're or about Zeke. to find out. Or your, Zeke. Your, Zeke, even wake up Zeke. Your break comes to an end. Um, and as you head back into the dome, you sense how the magic that you have used and still, I mean, it's a ritual spell, so kind of passively. Hmm. While it's not a concentration, wait, is it a concentration spell? The hut? Let's I don't think it is. Check. <laughs> you can't sleep. That would be very inconvenient time. I don't think it is a concentration spell. It's a... That would be very inconvenient. You just yeah. conjure a physical I don't hut. think it is. I, I don't see case, where it is, but no, it's... Um, if it doesn't say, then it isn't. Uh, in mm. any case, in any case... It's not. While it is not a concentration spell, there is still... I feel like it's... Like Eight hours is the duration uh, of that it. That I know. Uh, and that's what we're getting to. There is still a... There is still a... You know, like, the art of wearing clothes. It's so basic that we don't think about it, but it's still something that your body can technically feel that it's being done. And I feel like you making a spell of this kind is kind of the same thing, where it doesn't take anything on you mm. to cast it, it doesn't take anything on you to maintain it, but there's still something within you that knows that this is something you're actively conjuring, okay. and you feel how that is slowly starting to fade away, Okay. Uh, and it's you sense how this whole area, kind of starting with the ceiling, slowly is starting, like the whole kind of aura or dimension that you're in now, mm -hmm. is slowly starting to kind of peel off. Mm -hmm. Well, I would like to try uh, to just use a couple of minutes to enhance or like mm -hmm. uh, keep it up for some some yeah. more hours. Uh, you cast it again yeah. as a ritual, so it doesn't cost you anything. Eleven minutes. Yeah. And you see, kind of right as it was about to come all the way down, to <laughs> you get this done. And I change the, I dim the color, uh, the light inside even more, so it's easier to. Sleep. And you do night stars inside. Yeah, oh, I want. Stars. You can do all these sort of things. Oh, I want to do like a uh, home theater. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the sky, as I remember it from Little Oak, mm -hmm. and I don't want to see if I can create like with a bit of clouds and some stars and. That is now what it looks like inside. One of the zodiac signs that I remember looking up at. Uh, You're essentially in the planetarium now. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. I go to uh, Gonk first. Mm -hmm. I try to shake him a bit. Gonk. Gonk, wake up. Gonk. Wake up, Gonk. What? What is it? You have the last watch. <sighs> sure. Right. I get up. Gonk gets up. Did you see anything? Just didn't see or hear anything at all. Oh, it's not All right. Good night. Yeah. <coughs> you too. I go to sleep. You get up, Gong. Yes. And uh, and it just go out of the hut. Yeah. Jump of the hut. <laughs> I mean, you can hold. You can hold guard from inside. Uh, yeah. You don't have to go outside. I think I would like Solo. to that. And I bring my loot. Mm -hmm. Your new fancy loot? My new fancy loot. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I think I would just like to sit outside the tent, looking at the water, listening. Essentially, yeah. The same that has been done yeah. previously. You sit. Feeling the sensation of my loot. Loot. You sit, Maybe you play some up. soft yeah. tunes. Yeah. Um, oh. You sit around for a little bit. You hear kind of how the sound bounces between the walls. It's not exactly the best soundproofed area. Quite the opposite. It gives quite an echo when you play. Yeah, because um, 
and... Do you get the feeling that it might be a bad idea to play the loot? No. It's not, it's not loud. It's not loud. It's just to give you an idea of the kind of the audio in the area that you're in. Um, there's no like no no reasons to worry. At least not nothing that you can think of. Uh, you shouldn't worry about the guy standing right behind you or step you. But other oh, than sure. that, um, yeah. While I play interesting man by exactly. Metallica. <laughs> <laughs> you, um, you sit for a little while, tapping. and where normally, when playing newer instruments, you know that the strings would have to be tied up or re, uh, mm. uh, re-tuned, done pretty, pretty tuned, yeah. pretty, pretty often. Yeah. Um, but as you kind of look up at the top of this loot, it seems like where the knobs are that you would usually use to twist and turn. Mm-hmm. There's a, I mean, other than the whole instrument being magical already, it seems like they don't physically connect to the strings. That they're just sat pitch perfect on the loot. And you can't really make out a, I mean, at least not a non-magical reason why you'd be able to do this. Mm. But it's clear to you that the instrument you're in position of is a arguably the most prestigious music instrument you ever held hands. I sit for myself and I name my lute Judy, the presenter. Oh, um, feel free to change the name. <laughs> 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 you sit for a while and again just play some quiet single note tunes. And after a while, um, the rest of you start. To the wake up, <laughs> and you've all had a long rest. Yes. Oh, oh, God. I didn't. That's <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't really need. I use all my spell slots. Yeah, I get up and I battle. <laughs> <laughs> I use sneak on you. Yeah. Level you, three, this guy's self. Wait, why are you not dragon? Uh, oh no, forty-nine. I had fifty-one. What is happening? What? My max HP changed from 51 to 49 when I took a long rest. Oh, it's because I drank the thing, but apparently... Oh, you only no, put it as temporary? That should still you be... You shouldn't put it as temporary. No, I, did, I didn't do Just that. Just change it manually then. Yeah. 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 I don't Maybe it thought it was temporary. Why do I have to do that? Yeah, I have to do it here. Here. You are woken up as you get up and awake. Um, as soon you... <laughs> Cancel out the dome, yeah. and you're stood where you stood before you took your rest. So this was an oddly good sleep in a sewer with monsters all around us. That was nice. Sephra told me specifically if to use this spell whenever we needed something like this, and now I've finally amounted the experience to use it. That's nice. That was nice. Now let's go out and get killed by some monster in the sewer. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. And it looked beautiful when I woke up with all this. I thought you'd be a roll that was for you. Fifty-four ooses are in front of you. And the frog octopus is coming back with all of his friends. Yeah, tentacle uh, friends. I can't <laughs> give uh, Zeke a long rest, but I know. I think I can do that. I'll okay. Do that. So who leads oh, on? Oh, oh, oh. Let's go. Yeah. I go out. All right, I'll we'll take, sure. take the front. In March, mm. I'm right. marching on. I would like to be second to last. I'll, uh, I'll be. You I'll find a YouTube video someone saying statistically the second to last person has the biggest <laughs> chance of surviving encounters. <laughs> I'll, uh, like I'll take sewers in homebrew campaigns. Say again. <laughs> I'll be the tail. Right. Just put yourself up in the order that you Tailspin. want. To walk. Number two. Now I wrote Danes and Walk. That's not our name. Danes and Walk. <laughs> That's the name of this campaign. Six in the middle of the Danes and walk. It could have been. Let's go. Walking Danes. And we're going this way and uh, yeah, can okay. I, can I find, now I have the map here, but do I know where we were before? 
I mean, you took, what, two turns to get to this area, so I would assume so. Wonderful. I go back to where we encountered the Demogorgon. The way we were. The Demogorgon. The Demogorgon. The Demogorgon. The Demogorgon. The Demogorgon. I'm just going to give... Four Sikkuku! His long oh, door. That's not possible. Thank you! 14. Would we like to have no, the, uh, the dancing zero. lights or should we just. No, let's let's see if this actually. Um, let's see if, if this. If the water will suffice? Yeah. Yeah, maybe. You yeah. don't mind Seek? No, I'm f- that sounds like a plan. Try and refresh. <laughs> <laughs> Try and refresh and uh, yeah. see if he's back to full. Uh, he feels refreshed. Maybe, maybe one of uh, maybe you and uh, you could try and hold the, the stone out as well. Sure, go with see it if, like uh, this. See if also maybe it. Um, if it's give me the stone. Well, you never know. Maybe it changes. Uh, yeah. Um, I take it light, or and we walk. Yes. You what if it starts with the stone in hand? Somewhere? You start making your way back up to where you uh, where we were previously. Says Zeke. Now I am. So it's my mouse, it is there. Right there. And you are fantastically, phenomenally teleported to around. And I uh, stand there and teleport. I try to listen if I can hear anything. Teleportation step. I don't, because that was a one. Well, I wasn't going to ask you to roll anything, but now you did. Yeah. <laughs> one is a one. Why, why do you do so that? So you didn't like, hear anything. Oh, 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 you always go like, and I would like to, and then you have some more fun. It's almost as oh. if the DM is the one that tells you when to make rolls, but you don't hear anything, because you rolled the one. No! <laughs> I, I wasn't the only one. The two the, first you're people. You're all <laughs> very loud today. Not the your only sleep. one. No, I, Discussing I, I, your I nice dreams. I never <laughs> said I didn't yeah. do that. I never, so it I almost felt like... That I just that the roof of this hut was actually the stars from the Loke. I say very loudly as I go around this corner. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should be a little bit more quiet. Oh, oh yeah, of course. Shh. Yeah. Mm. All right. Okay. I try to look around the corner. Is there anything there? And is it still glowing? The water. Yes. As long as there's no one's light. doing lights. That's what no. I was thinking. Great. You come in around the corner, mm-hmm. and as you look up around the next corner, you don't immediately sense anything. There is a path continuing down in this direction. I would like to peek There's to my left. say opening peek. on the left, peek. and as you slowly maneuver your way up towards the edge, mm-hmm. you see what appears to be the uh, same creature. Ready to attack. Standing around the corner, making eye contact with you, and it looks at you. Kind of. You see how these thing uh, looking tangle tangle flummerbobs yeah. flying around. I do not know what to call the them. They look like you know the, mm. the what are the plants called? They can eat flies. They kind of look like there's fly of them on fly trevor. Uh, sort of kind of looks like cry fly trappers. <gasps> they were all just flies. Like they were shape I feel like this is some sort of Scientology. Professor They were all flies? What? Oh my god. Um, <laughs> yeah. Flies you stand now face to face with it. I try to do like. <laughs> I really try to clap it away. With I animal handling. Try to clap uh, it away. <laughs> as you start clapping ferociously to kind of. Oh, get away! Get away! Get away. And um, you see that it takes a step back initially, but then stops. Hey, bear. Looks at you again. And you see that from in behind. Hey, bear. You can hey put bear. it on the map. That would make things easier. So, uh, it's what mother. You, you can there. see that from in behind. Uh, there appears to be one more of similar size. Oh. Uh, they don't seem very big. I mean, they're probably to you. Its head would probably be around your um, chin. Yeah, around your chin. I uh, try. Like same size as a dog, essentially. Can I try to reach for my? Uh, I feel like I have a rucksack, a bag on my you back. Would probably, yeah. yeah. And I try to take that down and try to find one ration in there. Mm-hmm. Food. Mm-hmm. Food for it. It's still standing. Yeah. So you can see as you start clapping, it's like the the thing on my pops. Yeah. Where it's like. Yeah. I say very cal- calmly to the others. There are two of them. They are here. I tried to take one ration out. What is your ration? It's dried meat. I feel like it would be dried meat. 
Jerk meat. Me. You're the one that bought them at some point. Yeah, that's true. I'd say dried meat. Would you be eating dried meat? Bananas? Or would it be nuts and... Uh, <laughs> Are you a vegetarian I monk? No, druid. <laughs> you take your dried meat... Mushrooms! Yeah. And I try to throw it in the corner furthest away from me. Not the second breakfast. Make a animal hand. We'll check. Yeah! Yes! Finally. Man, I wish it was... Put that mark <laughs> because I'm so frightened. You can assist him. You can assist him. Wait, uh... Is it, is Ah, oh, fuck, it's too yeah. late, never mind. I, go uh, I throw it as an um, eight. No, seven. <laughs> as you throw it, you throw it right over the first one. Oh. The second one, kind of with one of the <laughs> catches it and just slowly takes it down to its mouth and you Do you need help? Oh, it does not lie. And you see that in behind. You can just exactly make out what appears to be the edge Good angry. of a cage that has an open cage door. Okay. Oh. And it's like. I and it just looks slowly, slowly go back. I would like to. And I would like to prepare a dodge. Good, because I would like for you to roll initiative. No! Only you? Only well, it's going to be all of you in just a second. <laughs> so, uh, this is a 22. Okay, dope. Actually, not before that. Before you roll initiative, roll your dutch. Okay. Roll it. Oh, you don't roll your dutch. Roll um, dutch. Um, sorry. Dutch roll. I just do this with disadvantage because you prepared a dutch. Yeah. Man. Um, so, it comes up like the back and goes. <laughs> the first one. Right. And then the second one that was standing in front that you tossed yeah. this past just looks to you. It just kind of swipes at you with one of its tingle tangles. Demogorgon hits. And as it goes at you, you prepare to dodge, you yes. go, whoa, and you just stand there. Is it? And, and you, you just, all you see, just stand there. you see, you all see, I mean, you don't no, actually, Dom you would only be dumb seeing this <laughs> coming out for a second and back Why again. are you clapping? <laughs> <laughs> Can I use my initiative roll or do I have to roll? Why are you thing? clapping? Now's not, not the clapping. time to eat. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I am. Um, I stand oh, in front of it, eat? putting up, uh, taking my quarter staff, and try to dodge whatever it does it right? against me. Okay. You see again how these two creatures are standing and look at you, and they're slowly. Let me draw it here, then you can move the dice Whoa. for me. Slowly making their way, kind of in this direction. Wait, was while it here when it uh, attacked me? One was. That I mean, you're standing all the here, right? You're standing here, yeah. And one was here, the one oh, that you met around the corner, the backside <laughs> one was standing up here. Okay, cool. Uh, um, so they're both now kind of together, starting yeah. to walk around you this and way I while, while looking at both of you. Yeah. Just kind of, uh, both now they would see Dominic as well. Yeah. Just slowly, like they come down into the water. Go back. And they start moving. Go back, go back. I say, nice. love me. Okay. okay. I'll, 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 as soon as back they're up. here, step back. Yeah. You just see how they both. Whoosh, just scatter oh. away from you. Away! Oh. They scatter in that direction. Yeah. Oh. They're fleeing. They're fleeing. Oh. Are you sending mixed signals, buddy? <laughs> yeah, well, they, <laughs> still, uh, maybe they, they, were still they attacked me once and fled. Maybe they I'm were, so scary. Maybe they were still scared of the... Uh, of the bear chest? Yeah, either that Where way... Where did they go? Uh, that way. Okay. <laughs> something you can't see. I'm gonna go up here. Okay. Be careful. Yeah, I'm gonna and try to look around this corner. As you look in, joining yeah. here, you see that this room is filled with Luke Cage. cages. Oh my god, what? There are five cages in total, four of which are small, one is bigger. The two here and yeah. here are open. Yeah. Uh, this one is open as well. Okay. And you see what appears to be two skeletons of the same sort. In sorts. these, they're very dusty, crusty bones. Can't see what kind of creature thing. the skeleton looks. I like. mean, if you just looked at the bones, bone structure, yeah, I mean, you, this size would be smaller than what you've just faced, okay. but not by much. Right. But also four-legged. Hmm. Oh. So that's strange. This creature has been here for a while. That's How have they survived? 
Okay, so I think we saw the two small ones. They might be getting the big one. That's true. Or we might have fought the big one earlier. That's also if a it, if it, it might yeah, have been. No, it didn't look like it. But what did we see in the big the same uh, type of creature that was in the, in the other cages? But it was the frontopus was and damaged, right? Both, I should yeah. say this. Both happen? of yeah. all of the cages look somewhat mm -hmm. damaged. Um, but where these three have been damaged to an extent that they are broken, open, I have been <laughs> busted open. Uh, the other two's not. Um, I like to go over to the big one mm -hmm. and check out to see if like where the where the it is busted open. Is it is it if it's rusted or if it's? Um, I mean, now they are all all the cages are very rusty. Then I don't need to look at it. <laughs> I'm gonna keep watch if they're coming back. <laughs> it looks, if anything, it looks to you like they were broken open before they became rusty. Yeah. So if they're coming back, it might be a good place to actually try to either fend them off or get them in the cages again. I uh, check the cages Ooh. to see if they can be closed or if they're again they're destroyed. broken open. Yeah, there is no is, door uh, opened, unclosed. Uh, this what about strange. the ones with the skeletons in there? Can they They're be opened? both. You would be able to, I mean, if you can open them, uh, open them and close them. They again. seem like on the map that they're the same size, all the small ones. They Is are. that they Yeah, are. that's true. Okay. Uh, well, then we should use the ones that aren't broken then. We couldn't try. Uh, them. Let's check how heavy. Like, they did not like the dried meat. Okay. I tried to throw them some food and I punched them. Interesting. Them. Interesting. <laughs> oh, that's. Yeah. But they weren't but they weren't necessarily that hostile in the beginning. They attacked the light source that they had you yeah. Oh yeah, they did. That's true. They but did. they didn't attack you right now, did they? No. They just, just ran away. They were just very mm, Maybe they were just scared of light. Maybe that. Could I'd be. like to i I'd actually do like uh, to check out the cage and see if mm -hmm. I can find any uh, traces of symbols or something that would indicate, you know, a you place of origin or something like that. You don't see any. It's just no ten. name tags, no engravings from like a an artist writing his name in the corner. There's well, none of it. It looks like cages. what would have at the time been pretty good craftsmanship. Yeah. Not that you're blacksmith or anything, no. but it looks like it was well done. But again, it's been standing in a pretty moist, humid area for a long time without any maintenance at all so they're mm. all rusted it's interesting how all this not stainless steel all these traps and everything is just they haven't been used for a while yeah it's so ancient and rusty and old yeah well we are talking three generations back aren't we yeah i mean it I was not lord a cry trapper or yeah. lac's key it's right? just interesting with the key and where has it been all this time yeah yeah who was it meant for if not for the hooded figure we've yeah, met a couple we'll of times. Find out. Yeah. Hope so, but it's just it's crazy. So what do you reckon? Do we stay here? And I wait guess for we them push, on? push on. Next yeah. room. I'm Long sorry. rest. I think we should uh, I think we should continue on and then then just yeah. be, we just need to be cautious and if they turn up either we fight them or we um, scare them off like you did the other. Maybe oh, yeah. maybe we can tame them. That that would actually be very right. them out. Okay. Yeah. One did did one attack you? Mm, one of them tried to attack me. Yeah. Okay. So after I threw the dried meat. So they they oh. they are a bit scared. Perhaps we can just um, yeah. If we stick together, perhaps we can intimidate them to always run away from mm. us, right? It's not if we don't corner them. That yeah. is. You can say no, Barsun, but but you did frighten them quite well, I think. I think that was just one of them. And I don't know. That was just one of them. That is true. They must. Well, I can, I can, I can go first again if yes. no one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's do that. I Just don't clap at them this time. Maybe that would be yeah. And uh, and uh, I would like to go third this time. Oh, Please, uh, oh it's evolving. <laughs> take care of the rations, hey. We don't have infinite yeah, of those. That's true. Wait. Oh, I actually have to. I Stop think I might have eaten something in that dome. Bibbidi bobbidi, this is the. Uh, they, they are not for eating. Yes, you would all have eaten a ration while in the dome. Yeah. Oh. Does it yeah. A ration in the dome. Oh. You stand up here and look down this direction. 
Uh, one moment. Oh, and you see how it continues down. Uh, the water is flowing down in that direction. Oh, fuck. And you see there being a lot of pipes in tools, and you can't see that. Some of it. Uh, Wee! As you teleport your way forward, uh, you see how there is three pipes. You yeah. can see them on the map now. Um, then you have to duck, or crawl over, duck, and crawl over. Imagine like those military exercise <laughs> platforms where you go yeah. over, oh, under, yeah. over. Yeah. Um, it's the I same here. Even for, I mean, you don't have to dog on the second one all that yeah. much, but still for you, it's like a, yeah. a neck bender sort of position yeah. that you walk under, under. Yeah, like one of the lucky kids at the at the what do you call it limbo event. Oh, yeah. where you were the tall one. They could just literally go like this. Okay, it's so limbo under, kid and you were already like on your back trying to get underneath. Something like that. Yeah, that's what you see under the red on wood. <laughs> do you continue forward? Yes, we do. Yes. Um, I, I go. Well, I think they're all following me. Yeah. Yes. Yep. So I go up to the corner and take a peek. You make your way up to the corner and I stand above you and take a peek. <laughs> <laughs> you look down and see <laughs> that it continues down in this direction. Mm -hmm. It continues forward oh and to the and left, to the left. Oh. and there's oh. an opening oh i would like to in pee into that the left. yeah i go in that opening yeah you and i i try to sneak my way in there mm. make yourself check i don't sneak that's a well it's a nine <laughs> you half sneak there. your way into this oh, no. um maybe mm. maybe it's bigger into this area and see that it continues <gasps> forward back this way. Oh my god. This is a maze. Uh, Sing. So there's some way in here. Should we look at that first or just yes. continue? I think it's a good idea. remember if we walk away from the water, we need light. That's true. Does the does the stone Can only I glow when it's close to the water? Does does it glow? Oh yeah. And does it glow when you go up on it, the wherever? It, 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 Do we have lights? It doesn't, have to, it doesn't have to be close to the water. It he does the stone, right? Oh, I, I have the stone. He, he took it. He took it. Uh, uh, as stone. you walk up the water, the stone still lights up. Okay. okay. So I'm gonna go in here. Yeah. You come around and you see how there's a little bit of a step down into yeah. what appears to be a different room, which has oh, um, oh. like stone flooring. Oh. There are a couple of what appears to be old benches what? and you have to see this a little bit of a step up in the oh. back end with an oh, altar that's an altar and yeah. there are very dusted candles standing on each side of it what the f i uh, go with the stone in front of me be careful and check I the trap before <laughs> yeah i have to, yeah before i step in i want to see if anything make an investigation check oh. yes someone help him. someone assist him <laughs> I'll do it alone. Well, Team game? Nah. I'm a solo player. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm yeah. like what do you do, Mr. Kevin? So, uh, that's a six. You roll a six? You I will sense go in the front <laughs> uh, You don't sense any dangers? We don't sense. Okay. No. I mean, I, you're, whenever it's one of these yeah, things yeah. we've talked about before, yeah. I'll yeah. refresh it. Whenever you have someone make a check on behalf of the group, mm. you do, yeah. You rely, I mean, for the most part, you would ask the person who's the best at finding out something about whatever it is you're trying to. Uh, you would pick that person, and if that person doesn't think there's anything to be afraid of, even though meta, we all know the person yeah, who made yeah. a bad role, yeah. then mm. as characters, you would still go, well, you're the one yep. that would know if anyone knows, so yep. now we're just There are no traps forward. here, guys. <laughs> and a big rock fall. Yeah. No. Great, great. And Let's I think... Check it out. I go in. Again, yeah, there's no, no, you, you right now, no. as Kevin, have no reason to believe that no. there's any danger in walking in here. And I go in there. You head into the room. And, and die. <laughs> you make your way in. You come all the way up to this little step up to where the... Um, the altar. Where the altars. Wow. And you see that in front of it, kind of engraved in the stone um, backside is not just the infinity symbol, but a uh, carved out, like actual, it, it, to use a reference, Soro mask. 
Mm-hmm. In carved. the like carved in the stone. Wow. Just like the the I ones think that you we're guys on the have. the right track. So wait, there's an altar. I join him in the room. I guess. Yeah, yeah of course. We all, we all. We all. I stand all. outside looking at the wall and say, <laughs> "You may enter." <laughs> <laughs> I think maybe, I think maybe that this is the point we have been looking for. So uh, who all has right. the key? Making fun of Tom while doing it. Oh, the key. Because you were standing outside looking at the wall. I'm not looking at You're all in a see Again, you don't have to always no. use your brother. characters. No. You're all inside <laughs> this room with the It's like talking right to a wall. Now. You're I all inside looking in the, the room, room now with the benches. And Makes sense. else you're all no, in the room now the with the benches. And I continue talking and you don't. You... Actually, Kevin, make a religion check. Oh. Oh. Monk. Yep, yep. Someone help me, please. <laughs> oh, wait, no. Oh, you yeah. don't need to. Uh, religion, 16. Zeke is just standing like, what the hell? you come up to this. Uh, I mean, you're already standing pretty close, but as you yeah. walk up on the plateau, I fall and down. And you remove some of the dust from... <coughs> take four poison damage. No, you... I have advantage against You poison. feel your hand against the carving. Again, it's stonework. Yeah, yeah. You'd be interested by it. And you kind of move some dust yeah. off of where this sore appearing mask is. And you see that it's not just an eye band sort of thing. It's more of a full face mask that continues down. Imagine... Actually, I can show you a picture of what it looks like. Mm. Uh, Guy folks. Mm. Troll face. <laughs> it would look... <laughs> <laughs> something like... like... Without the back side of it, uh, it would look something like this without all the top oh, of it. Yeah, yeah. It's just like it, it's not just the eye band, it continues yeah, 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 all the way yeah, yeah. It's a veal. down. That's a god. A masked god. Does that mean anything to the rest of us when we see? As see? he does this, you think back to your time in uh, the monastery. Mm-hmm. Not that you were ever too interested and the deities and this really? and that and this is what you pray for here, this is what you pray for there. The Sacred only thing flames. that, and this is me taking things for granted on behalf of Kevin, so yeah. tell me if you don't think that's what happened, but that's just yeah, yeah. something I have thought of. The only time you were if even just remotely interested in the classes mm. were when you were, not that you were really ever studying, but when you were taught something about some of the more chaotic and evil gods. Not that it's necessarily something you believe in, but you know, like in history, what was more chaotic, chaotic when we had about yeah. World War II, or when we had about, I don't even know, something that was boring, you know? Um, so the only few times you've paid attention were with these, and you recognize this symbol yeah. as being the symbol of mask. The god of Shadows and thievery. Let's go. God of shadows. God. God. Oh God. <laughs> God. God. Yeah. God. The God oh of God. shadows and the thieves. God. Thievery. Thievery. Yes. So. Mask. Maskery. So this is this is mask. I I remember he he's a god for thievery and shadows. Shadow thieves. Oh. Oh, makes sense. Yeah. Is there anything else in here? I say, looking around the room. You see the different candles um, up by the altar, which, I mean, they seem pretty ordinary. They've never been lit. The V, which I don't know what is in English. Uh, uh, fuse. The fuse. What well, lack of a better word? View? The the fuse, which is a London, not a V, but we'll we'll use it. The top that you light the candle on, 
uh, usually has like a little bit of either wax or something to get the initial flame started and you can see that it's still there so mm. this place has never been used or at least that's what the lights indicate to you unless if they've been changed okay but uh, does the stone react to anything over there i try to put it up and try to see if, it, if it's, it's anywhere the same way it has the whole time yeah. i would like to uh, use the segmatic as a ritual I'm just going to take for granted that since you've been here for a while, you might have already started it. Thank you. Uh, and else everyone is kind of looking around to different things. We want to get this aura activated, but don't sense anything other than what Us. you already knew to be magical. I oh. take out the, the eye band. Mm-hmm. And I try to put it on, not gonna change into anything. But uh trying to put it on. You're now a cool with an eye Oh. Gonk, do do you and have the mask key? comes before you. No. Do you have the key? Uh, no, I think Seek has the key. Seek so try to pull away. out the try to take out <laughs> no. take out the key, see if it's reacting in here. Seek takes out the key. Nothing happens. Take it to the altar. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I took for granted he was <laughs> Take it to the bench. No, the other bench. Um, Take it to the course. Nothing, nothing mm. happens. Mm. Take what it about to church? The stone didn't do anything? Did no, it didn't. I would like to investigate the altar to see if there's any yeah. you make your way secret up. keyholes or anything. You make your way up next to Kevin, who's not doing the same, but kind of. And he's inspecting the uh, altar, and I just kind of look around, even trying to look down the back side of it. There don't seem to be any anything magical about it. It is, I mean, similar to what you guys kind of concluded with the cages. It seems like it's not just a random rock someone has do 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 and then, you know, it's, it's been very... Uh, it's been done with a lot of skill, mm. this stone cutting. Interesting that they made a chapel down here the oh, shadow you, yeah. you think so? Should this have, is this, was it supposed to be like headquarters? Maybe. Maybe. That were never like used? Underground headquarters or something. It's, it's strange that they didn't use the lights on the, al- on the altar. Yeah, what if we tried to turn them on? You know, he is the god of shadows. That's not a bad suggestion. Maybe, yeah, let's try and light them. We can try and light the fuses. Yeah. <laughs> or the fuse the yeah. Uh, yeah I go over to uh, is it like I take maybe the iPad. What, maybe what if we step out of the room and someone use prestidigitation and light the lights I, I'm not sure I trust them me neither that's a good idea mm-hmm. let's Zeke? Uh, step back yeah Zeke uh, he's uh, he's ready to do stuff he um, he's this is uh, this is this is chic what if we climb on top of each other? No. <laughs> uh, Zeke, he uh, uses prestidigitation. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing, Zeke? You're too tall. On the um, on one of well, where are the lights? Are they like on you the wall? You can see them. They're on, on the, the on the on the these ah uh, these guys. I thought it was like I thought it was food. No, on yeah, plates. Zeke steps up. Yeah. And one by one, kind of boom, 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 lights up the candle. And right off the bat, nothing happens. Hmm. But he informs you that uh, the, as you called it before, fuse seems to actually be a sort of fuse that goes down. Like it's not just a flame, but the flame seems to go down a little faster. Oh. And as it comes all the way down, Oops. Gonk, no, sorry, Kevin yeah. is met by a seek that just comes flying backwards, <laughs> and there isn't an audible explosion, just a massive oh. gust of wind <laughs> that blows him back. Um, bye bye. The, on to you. Yeah. And the candles are snuffed out again. That was weird. Zeke says. Are the are the benches destroyed? Same thing still. Okay. 
<clears throat> so, so if we think uh, like a th- like a thief. Ow. What do we know? Um, something's hiding in there. I right. guess we're we're missing something. Uh, what? What if we go? go you weren't the in there, and are you still wearing the mask? I'm not the, wearing the mask right now. No. Uh-huh. Do I remember any any sort of uh, ritual uh, as a to to uh, honor mask? Hmm. What what if we try to steal the lights? Maybe? Mm-hmm. Let's see if they can be removed. Okay. That's a good idea. Um, You're quite nimble, right? I can try. I can take the other one. I, I jump. Prepare a dodge. <laughs> I bunny hop up to <laughs> You make your way up to the altar again. Yeah. And see these. Uh, they look exactly the same. The wax top that was on them before mm-hmm. is now not there anymore. I look down in them. You see nothing. I mean the is, uh, the what do you call it? If I'm gonna the fuse is still it. there, but the, it's the wax has gone off. It's got a. Beam it's been burned off. Be true. Like when 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 a candle hasn't been used, it's called a the, V. The V. W E E. V is. Uh, it's a wee little thing. A wee little V. A V has uh, <laughs> wax around it. I don't know if that's actually the word, but no. And when you burn the wax, you can light the V. Huh. And so if, and now the candles so don't have that a, anymore. It's sort of just like a, s- a very tiny. A V road. without yeah. Yeah. A V without the wax around it. It's called a wick, I think. A wick. Yeah. yeah. A wick. Wickety wick. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try and, and take I, I'm gonna try and um, and uh, yank one of those wicks if we call them that. Or oh, just the candle. It's, it's, well, yeah. Well, yeah. Try to take the candle or you lift the candle. Yeah. Nothing. Oh. oh, you tried to pull it. <laughs> yeah. <to see> if, <laughs> nice. Yeah. I'm gonna do that with all of them. You lift all the candles. And do I see anything under the candles? As you lift up the candles, you can see that um, it's as if... How do I describe this best? When you lift them up, you... I mean, where they stood... It, it, you have to kind of pull them off because yeah. they've been there for a Quite long time. time. As you look at them and you kind of feel them, mm-hmm. they feel like regular, I mean, yeah. Uh, but again, now there's a burn or school track where you lit them initially. Mm. Um, the ground seems pretty unscathed. Now it's not. There's no dust on the altar itself anymore. But other than that, nothing has changed. You said that when when the thing happened before, there was no noise, but it was like just wind. a gust of wind. Yeah. I want to look behind the altar. You have already. Done and he didn't uh, sense any magic uh, when that nope. happened. Didn't. I have so, a really, uh, really bad, uh, weird idea, guys. As he yes. has. Ah. Uh, <laughs> What's up, Zeke? <laughs> well, it was all Zeke. I was just thinking uh, <laughs> uh, that if uh, if you're a part of a thief skill, you want to go unnoticed mm-hmm. and and be sneaky, and I can turn invisible. Oh. I was just thinking it might be waste of energy. Uh, to try it, but can you do it as a ritual? I can just do it. Oh, I I I, I don't know. If I, I can mean, do you it use a spell slot, but yeah. yeah. No, I but can, can I do can it? Can you do it without using a spell slot? I can try. If, it, if there's an R right next to your spell name. Oh yeah, the oh the R next to um. In your sp- in your, in uh, your mind, mind of spells <laughs> that you remember. Yeah. Um. No 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 no. It's just, uh, it's just. Me. I can also I can use fo- my. I can just focus and, and I can be invisible up to an hour. I could also use my unseen servant to see if that does anything. Mm. Can what about the floor? Are there any markings on the floor, like pressure plates, something? We have no, to no, press. I mean, you've literally walked around the entire room at this can point. The, uh, I mean, Basun probably spent along the lives of like five to ten minutes studying the altar when you were up there initially, and, mm. 
haven't seen anything. Can you, uh, b- with the unseen servant, you can't like see from it or something like that. It can't be no, used but like, I like he does use the rat. Or I try to go sit on one of the benches, see if that does anything. Huh. You come over to sit on the bench, and well, well, you can try. While they're wooden, you uh-huh. see that they're but what, what, what do you being want to do? put into the ground <coughs> so they don't. Well, I thought if I went in there, you can, can, you can carry them unnoticed oh. or invisible. That might uh, then I might be able to see something that the mask yeah. isn't revealing to us when we are seen. Or if, maybe if we that have makes to sense. sacrifice something stolen. Do we have anything that's stolen? I have this fr- mm, bottle with crazy liquor in it. You do have that one. Yeah, yeah that one. I guess the wallet from uh, from oh, Phil. Oh yeah, the wallet. Oh, or the Greg. Book. Yeah. I have this. This quarter staff was from that thing we killed in the in the dungeon. Well, in the in yeah in the dungeon by the look. Yeah. Well, um. The I'm trying to put to the my foot bottle <laughs> yes, on, yeah. on the altar. See if anything. I happens. put the quarter staff there as well, and I put the wallet uh, with the pictures. Should we try and pack so away? So funny when paint takes turns. You do not expect. <laughs> <laughs> Should we pack away the gem just to uh, snuff out the light? Let's see if that does anything. Mm. I put it in some pocket of my beige airy coat. You remove the gem, mm-hmm. and again, this room is very dark. Given that the light from out by the water doesn't come in here, you put your things up by the altar, and uh, nothing seems up. We look ridiculous, guys. <laughs> you don't know if you can't see anything, but I'm um, kidding. <laughs> All right. I guess uh, uh, maybe I guess we can come back here at some point yeah. if we figure something out. Yeah. What about the key? We did Put try it. it. On. We, you we walked around the entire room with the key out. Yeah, yeah. We walked up to the altar too. But did we put it on the altar? I don't think it... Well, we can do that. But you would have probably yeah. put it on the altar. Let's say we Whenever tried. you say, can I try and do something that requires a check or even sometimes if it doesn't, that's not you just going... You said it's it was probably you right spending there. five, ten minutes doing something. So already now you've been in this room for maybe 30, 35, 40 minutes with the trap thing and everything that you've done. This is Dominic talking. Uh, <laughs> you said uh, you said this was like God of Shadows and mm-hmm. Thievery. Yeah. So these lights, I mean, they were lit up. But they just kind of like exploded or made like a gust of wind. Uh, I have no idea if this is a thing, but what if we're not supposed to light them, but dark them in some way. Can we do that? I have no idea. No. But I don't know. They I are really have dark. a spell of magic darkness, but that would be a waste. Yeah, that would be a waste. We can always turn back. Yeah, well, yeah, do we have any of those pouches from, you know, those darkness pouches? Those balls when we were attacked? Do you remember? Where, With where? the big back baddie and the and, 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 and Grom was there and outside oh, the music oh shop. Outside the music shop. There were pouches with darkness in them? Oh when they fled. Yeah, those those uh, henchmen. I think he might have taken some. Yeah, I, I think, think he, he I think he did. Down because he has cheddar cheese in his bag. Ah. <laughs> Still yeah, he's got yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. smoke. Can I have the cheddar cheese? Smoke smoke quite hungry. And he's also got a dust of invi- he also got dust of invisibility, but I think that's too bag of smells. Smoke smoke grenade. I think that's, that's the one. Do we want to use it here and see if anything happens? I guess we can try it. How many does she, how many I, do I have? have? I have four! He stands like <laughs> four in his hand. It's, it's not a bad idea. Let's just try one of them. And if that doesn't work, then just move on. Okay. Yeah. What right. do I do? Just throw so, it in the ground, I guess. So we stand here in the in it. You're right, let's go out. No, 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 let's, let's try and stay here. Oh, we're staying. Okay, I'm throwing okay. it, guys. All right, brace yourselves. <gasps> Zeke throws a smoke grenade on the ground. <laughs> if you don't want us to solve the riddles, don't give them to us. <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> maybe the other <laughs> riddles. <laughs> Smoke bomb <laughs> into the ground, and within a second, 
the entire area of the drain just becomes thick of this fog. Even the ones of you who have dark vision are all blinded. I not in, not in like a painful way, but uh, none of you, like even with eyes open, it's like you cannot see anything. I, I go out towards the water As again. soon as you move out, you start like waving your hands around. <laughs> you uh, slowly start being able to see. Oh man, I'm so again. glad I'm not in a tavern doing this. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, I guess nothing happened. I guess we'll, should we uh, just move on then? Yeah, yeah. Let's move on and then we'll f- we can yeah. think about this place. So no. our- Frederick is feeling like we're so close to it. We've we've done something with a trap, but yeah, let's move on. We can you know? always come back. And I can always go invisible. That is true. Whee. So uh, which way, Barsoom? Uh, I would like to just walk. Uh, stealthily down here and just Make squint around. Jump. Squint it. Stealth, stealth. That's a nine. You make your way down again. I mean, the audio from the water and everything muffles your footsteps to some extent as well. You see that the water here, where you are, splits. So the current both goes in that direction, but also goes down in that direction. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that's a new. Uh, the water splits here, and uh, the the corridor just keeps changing direction. Oh, that's fascinating. Well, if it's going either of these ways, mm. we we talk about that the current would be going downwards towards something, something. the the river, perhaps. Yeah, or, or another uh, fall. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, let's follow you. Either way, way, there might be an exit. That's one right. of these. Do you want to take? Uh, I can uh, take front, lift, uh, lift, lift. Dominic. Yeah, I'll I'll do the front. I think that's a good idea. All right. You start making your way down. Mm-hmm. You make your way past the corner. Yeah, I do. And see that down here, the area mm-hmm. opens up, and the water continues to flow. All right, I I have the stone. You do have to stop. Oh, the creatures okay. might have uh, the creatures might have walked this way. I think you're right. This way. Well, that's just uh, for the sake. Yeah, yeah. We, we're you behind you. Yeah. Move we're behind down you. and look around the corner. As you come around the corner, you see what oh appears to be a pretty big opening. Oh dear. Here, um, where there is a, a old barrel, huh? And what appears to be two crates, kind of put up on the sides. Uh, and on top of them, as you kind of look over towards it, it appears that there are, I mean from distance still, that there are old playing cards. Guys, you should come and see this. I step up. Mm-hmm. And, uh, we follow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't, yeah. Look at that. As you come oh, wow. up and you see this, I mean, happen. pretty standard sized barrel, you see that um, in the side, on the back of it, there is engraved. Or not in grief, but like hatched in uh, a lot of lines and crosses through, and above them on each side, a G and a P. Greg and Peter? No, what it's Phil they? and Greg. Phil and Greg. They've been. They've been here for a while. They've been all over the place, huh? Hmm. Well. And suddenly, so and look at are they are they just. Are the cards lying as if they are playing right now? They're scattered. Oh, damn it. As shown on the minimap. Is I there a full deck of cards there? Uh-huh. <laughs> Do you want to start counting them? <laughs> no. 52. Do you know how many cards a full there deck There are a lot of cards. They haven't put it in. playing cards at the, at the end. Yeah. Are there any bets there? Are, is there any money? In the globe? No. So these uh, pipes meet here as well. They cross like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, they don't actually no. go to like in with one another. They mm-hmm. go over and under. How how far is it up there? Can I jump them? Yeah, you probably jump up there. They're probably around two meters up. Yeah, I'm gonna try and jump up there to see if I can see anything on them or mm-hmm. around you them. You can't. Okay. There is nothing up there. Yeah. I would like to try to listen uh, th- further down the uh, the way yeah. to hear oh. if anything's uh, any you weird sounds. See that the path continues down this direction. And one moment. 
and G. And uh, it makes sense to hear anything mm. different. The only thing, if anything, is that you feel that the current mm -hmm. around your ankles mm -hmm. is a bit stronger here. Mm. But still, I mean, far from anything that would ever sweep your feet away underneath you. Let's uh maybe uh maybe the two currents are going towards the same at the end? Same area at the end. Perhaps. That would that would make make sense. Let's uh let's continue forward. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Before we do, I would like to check out the, the playing cards to see if there are any uh should pick up any the marks or anything. It doesn't crumple in your hands, but it's clear that put paper somewhere for many years in a humid area, it's they're they're like Right. What do you call it? Soggy. Whenever you remember, have you ever it's like spilled something on a book and then after a couple of days it's just like full on waving? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's essentially this right. the, the condition that these cards are in right now. Save the cards. Yu-Gi-Oh! So I guess mm, nothing's on. Nothing exciting. Let's uh, yeah. Could there be anything in the in these barrels and chests? In the barrel? In or the in the barrel? crates? Let's see. Crate. I open one crate. You, there is only one. Uh, are there two of them? No, the, oh, well, the crates are, I mentioned, like milk boxes just on the side. Oh, oh, yeah. and there's nothing in them. Yeah, oh, I, I, I opened the barrel. And the barrel is also, I mean, as you kind of lift it up, it's there's nothing it's underneath. They essentially ah. just use it as a table. Yeah. Okay. Right. Nothing here. Let's go. Mm. All right. We we'll continue. I walk forward. You forward. continue moving. Can you see everything? Yes. Yep. Yeah. You continue moving, and once again, the. Uh, the path bends. Mm -hmm. So Phil and Greg were gambling men, eh? Well, I bet they were. I look at this. Um, they must have been trapped now, down here. Uh, as you make the next corner, uh, again there is, when you stop and really kind of focus on it, there is a bit of a, what do you call it? A, it tilts. Uh, yeah, but again, it's not. It, very small. It's lot. very, very minimal. Shallow. But you can feel um, it. The bubble in the battle pass would still be within the two lines. You oh, know okay. I mean? like that's, <laughs> that's, that's not how, a lot. How straight it still that's is. That's not a lot. But still, the um, the current intensifies a little more. Again, not to an extent where it's dangerous by any means, but now you can actually feel it around your heels as you walk forward, that the water is kind of pushing past you. Um, All right. And it continues up this direction into what appears to be an open area. All right. Right. We walk. We walk towards it. Ready yourselves. Yes. I'm going to teleport here on you all. Yeah. Oui. You come up you into right? this. Mm -hmm. Right. One moment. This right. Something like that's that. Good. Come up into sure? this opening where you see there is a um, mm. a pipe and a back wall over on the other side. Oh. And it appears that a lot of the water that is coming from here is going down into that pipe. Oh, into, the, into pipe. the pipe. Into yes. Oh. oh yeah. Okay. I see. Well, I we continue forward. Yeah. And uh, yes. I would like to look at the pipe for, yeah. when we uh, pass. It is very dark in there. Um, it is high enough above the water flow that you can see above the water in. And since the water lights up the way that it does, you can see that it goes down and makes a bend, but you can't really make out anything. All right, I step up on this, uh, and before I step up, I'd like to carefully step up on it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you think those candles were candles of gust of wind, so you could like turn them on and use them on someone? Might be. Sounds fancy. It would be funny, but they weren't magic, weren't they? What no, you didn't feel any magic, right? No, 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 no. So it's uh, something that's magic. magic. You make the corner, you see that the um, the path continues down south. And again, where you come up, like walking in this direction now, the current is now coming towards you. So it's all like both oh. directions going down towards the, the pipe down there. Huh? Um, there is a split further down, and as you come up here, the water as you walk on the on the planks. Uh, uh, well, I mean, uh, just on the on the on the side of the water, really, it's much more 
like the current is starting to get a lot stronger and you hear what appears, appears to be like a faint, not really a rumble, but kind of further down south. Mm. Down What's, south. What is the south on this map? Uh, it's towards me. Great, That's thank you. Egoistic DM right now. <laughs> uh, we shouldn't say something. I pull out a compass. I mean, you, honestly, you don't know which direction you're headed in, but uh, towards me. I can use my compass. Yeah. Uh, south in, in my direction, sense. we'll say. Yeah. In this, in and this direction. Here you see that it just continues down as uh, well as long as you can see. Yeah, we walk, uh, I walk uh, straight south over the perceive. Uh, okay, okay, I'm just going to do this for you. Wiggity walk, the call. We're going to over the, over the planks. Is it is it deep? Can I see the can I see the bottom of the water or is it just You uh, can't see the bottom. You I haven't have really been able to at any point. No. Nope. See it. Makes um, sense. Just light. So no. You walk. Does it smell here? Or the smell is the same as it has been ever since you killed the seaweed monster, yes. Okay. Seaweed. You make your way further down, you see an opening where it appears that a lot of water comes... Um, can you see this? Yes. Uh, where a lot of water comes kind of splashing out from. Huh. Mm. And as you go down and kind of look up in that direction, mm -hmm. you see that there's a big slide. I don't think that's the actual word, but a decrease a of the water. Where... Oh, in... Oh, it goes this way. It, it comes down towards you. Oh. So it's um, like I'm looking up and then it's you're up. looking up. Yeah. There's no like where where in the past there's been like a step up to even start walking up. This is just straight up. uphill. Yeah. Uh, in that direction. Fascinating. All right. Um, uh, we can't go that way. Well, let's just uh, uh -huh. continue further um, that way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. That way. No monsters. You don't sense no, peeps, no pets, no, no ghosts. No it continues for quite a while further down, and you reach a point where how far can you see? Just exactly here, where it goes off into multiple directions again. Oh no! Hmm. We must find a That's door a at some point. Big place. Okay. What do we see map. on the right? <laughs> I told you I spend a lot of time making this map. Love it. Yeah, what's on the right? Your right? Yep. Yes. This yep. This right way. is right. Uh, you see that up here in the wall I'm looking at my comes character. out from mm -hmm. what appears to be a pipe. And that there is a step up. Okay, as well. Which mm -hmm. you can't see because I have not placed you there. Step up. Oh. Oh. Yeah, there's a plateau oh. up there okay. in the end as well. And how should strong we, is the should current? Should we check that out? Yeah, the way that you can see the water is pretty strong. Not that you can't walk against it, but I mean, similar to before, just a little more that you can feel it. I guess, uh, yeah, that's... Someone uh, needs to check uh, how, deep, how deep it is. Someone I'm jumping down. Yeah, you I jump know. down and it's Shouldn't now be me. around thigh deep for you. So like, you want to carry a little under, like maybe 70, 80 centimeters. Have it on your back. Uh, let's let's check this uh, part out. All right. I st yeah, walking. I jump in. You walk in the water, <laughs> make your way further forward, and then sure, you come up on land, mm. so to speak. Ground. On the other side, you see that there's a room in here. Another church. Oh. Squibbity, the whole thing. Squeaky, squeak, squeak. Can you see it? Yes, you can. Um, you see that in here, there's what appears to be a Whoa. kind of storage room um, with some sort of facility on the Ooh. left side. Flat. Um, Interesting. And uh, what appears to be an old table. On the other side are some crates and boxes. That's a mimic. Oh. Check okay. out the uh, boxes oh, and the nice. yeah, yeah. and the barrels and the barrels and the hey and the lever. Oh. There's another valve. There's a valve. A valve. I meant the valve. Oh, Check oh, the, valve. the valve. But with all the other valves, we've had to fight something, right? So we should is it just that we are all in here, or only one of us is in here? You would have all walked in. We are all in. Okay. 
Should we check the boxes and stuff first? Yeah, let's yeah, do yeah, that's that. Good. Just, uh, yeah, maybe whatever trap or creature might be in some of them, so just be gentle. Yeah. As you start fiddling with the uh, with the crates up here, mm-hmm. or the barrels, they all seem again it's just broken. Yeah. Is there any? Uh, uh, There's no indication of what was in it. On them, everything that would have been text, maybe on the before, oh, sorry, is uh, oh, anything that would have been text on them in the past is smoldered away, essentially, which is not the right word for molded. Away. Yeah. On the boxes in the bottom end, you see some um, with markings of remote. But nothing that stands out to you. I mean, unless the markings of Primal stands out to you in old boxes. Mm. Are there any numbers on them? Again, what would have been on them in the past is yeah, gone. Most likely gone. What about what that about table? Mm. Yeah. It's a table with a bench on each side. I would like to go to the valve and just look, not touch it, but just look to see if I can see any dents on the the place where it, it sits in the Make socket. Make a perception check. Mm-hmm. Right, investigation actually, how oh, are you using investigation? Investigate that shit. That shit. Yes. That's a dirty 20. As you look... A sturdy as they get. On uh, added. Uh, and kind of go underneath to, 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 to study it. You sense some sort of leaking from underneath the um, what do you call the tank? it? Tank. The tank itself, yeah. Oh, it's leaking over here. Uh, this valve might just be opening water. Yeah. Are there any? Uh, is the symbol on the downside of the valve, or is that impossible to see? You can you can't make that out okay. without removing. Yeah, I can't see if it has the symbol though, and I don't see any dents in it like the others. As you continue mm-hmm. to study it for a bit, you feel kind of what do you call it? Not occasionally, but with short intervals, like small bursts on bursts, small, very soft gusts, I don't know, puffs, I suppose you could say, of like warm air. All right, there's come some air is coming in somewhere here. Well. I try to sense where it's coming from. If it's my he- at my no, head. it's coming. It's coming from the tank towards from the you. tank towards me. Okay. Yeah. Are you all right over there? Yeah, yeah. I'm not really sure what this device is, but uh, air, I kind of feel a bit of air coming out of it, and it's dripping. Is it water? The dripping, or seem like is it glowing water? It doesn't glow. It doesn't glow. Whatever it's dripping out of it, it's not glowing like the water. Uh, so maybe, maybe this is a trap. Can we use a stone to check if it's water? As you stand there uh, for a little bit longer, you're all, I mean, again, maneuvering around, checking all these things as this uh, happens, and maybe just finishing up checking the rest and looking to assume. The rest of you notice that as kind of the top part, as you're kind of looking under and trying to check out this construction, so to speak, um, that above where he's looking, kind of the top of the, uh, what do you call it, top of the tank? steel, yeah, top tank. of the tank essentially, slowly starts to open. Barsoon, get away from there. I'm trying and to get away. I would like for... Wait. Jump back. Wait. Actually, you don't have to do anything. <gasps> you just die instantly. Because it explodes. Uh, one second, let me just read this. Where does it open? Is, is, is there like a hatch? Thank you. Guess. Is there a hatch on it? It is a mimic. I thought it was just a. Hello! 
I would like for you to make a strength saving throw. Strength saving throw. Just lands on you. Matching uh, oh, that's saving throws, eh? Abilities. Abilities. Ah! <laughs> what is that? That one. Oh. <laughs> what happens is, as I mean, you don't see this because you're looking underneath and around this structure. What the rest of you see is <laughs> that the top of this tank slowly starts opening up, and in a very quick move, a massive tongue. Just comes out <laughs> and grabbles you. Ah! I call of you to roll initiative. Yay! I'm so sorry. That's okay. So the best I'm, thing is when I'm, you predict it like that, then yeah. because you said it, you don't think that it is that. No, oh, that's true. So, so I thought it was the table. Uh, a mimic is uh, a mimic can, can is turn into anything, a shape not just a, a, a chest. Literally into anything. Gotcha. Uh, you can please put the tank as a mimic. There you go. Mm. I'm also, Barsoon is actually here, right? Yeah. You're here and prone or something. He's grappled. not prone, he's grappled. I'm just grappled. Right. Don't make it worse than it has to be. Don't, tr- don't try to kill me. Uh, too early, Kevit. Yeah. Let me do too that. Early. Let me do that. It's never too early. To kill me. Um, so to kill me. Kill. Among is never kill. early. And you by the way, Mr. Me. Barthul, mm. you took Barthul. 11 damage. Damage! Oh my god. By being grappled? Yes, okay. by the attack. I'm That's <laughs> um, Grappling you. Uh, what did you roll? Uh, 17. 23. 17. Share your turn. 5. Five. Five. Oh, sorry, that's a 6. Five. That's 30, a, 20. That's a 6, sorry. You rolled six. Okay. Three. Uh, Kevin, it's your turn. Yeah. I run to this uh, five, ten, fifteen, and I try to. I try to, and I'm gonna aim directly at the tongue. No, I'm just gonna try. It is currently grappling a I know. And I wanna just try and help you out. Make a strength check. Without athletics proficiencies, yeah. so uh, that's a uh, seven. Yeah, I, you do I don't not think I've rolled three, over yeah. ten today. Oh, oh yeah, I just did twenty-three. Where's the pulse? Never mind. Um, and uh, I'm gonna no, that's not a, an attack. I can't use that then. I'm just gonna stand there. You sure? Oh yeah. Yeah, it's, I didn't do an attack, so I don't have my second. But I have a. Two-handed fighting? Two-handed yeah, fighting? Yeah, so I have a bonus action. I'm gonna try and... No, because that's when you use the attack action. Or a mount equipment on your turn, you can make one on arm strike. So I haven't... That is your turn. Yeah. Boom. Mm-hmm. Then it is... Seek. Come fight me. And gone? Oh, wait, was it gone? Seek, seek, gone? seek first. Right. Seek yeah. first, okay. Uh, how far is he from... Gone. Gone. Like, he's grappled. Correct. I'm grappled. Okay. Well, and... Grappled, grappled. And uh, Zeke just... Uh, uh, like what would Miko do? He, he, I don't know, but uh, <laughs> but now he, he kind of like panics and just goes like, ah, but soon, and, uh, and uh, he Those uses healing word, uh, uh, first level healing word on uh, but soon. Okay. And I can't do the slot, but you. Get I will do it for you. Roll a healing thing. One d four, sing plus six. Ooh, plus because six. it's plus four, but it's also plus two because he has the the staff. The thing I'm a bot. Exactly. So that is I made it plus two. It's so made it plus two to healing spells, and he hasn't written it on the thing. Right? No, no, no. Uh, you uh, get nine uh, hit points. Nine. Awesome. So he used the level one spell slot. Right? Level one spell slot. Yeah. Shit has now been used to it. And um, I'm back. And then he, and then no, he yeah, just and like I'm back. I'm gonna like kind of backs. A little away, right? Mm-hmm. Like here. Okay. Yeah. And then and another uh, mimic comes. And that's uh, his turn. It wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> then it is Gong and Dom. Gong and Dom. I turn around and I point at the monster. Yes. And with my vicious mockery, I say unto thee, you have a bad breath. Make a roll. You with- say 
Wisdom 13? Oh, god dang it. Uh, How wise is this creature? Gog, psych me up! <laughs> As a bonus action, I use Bardic Inspiration. Uh-huh. Oh, psych me up! Yeah! And I just uh, storm uh, towards uh, Parasun and I try to re- to help him get, uh, like, removed from the grappling. You game. try to free him. Yeah, I try to free him. Free me! With your Bardic Inspiration? Um, I can roll and then... True, yes. yeah. true, true, true. Mm. But I'm waiting. I don't know, am I, am I doing... Strength or...? One moment. Um, 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 Release um, him from your tongue. Yeah, Why didn't you check that when I tried to help him? Because you actually had it even better, you have to roll with disadvantage. I have to roll with You disadvantage. had to do that as well, but I didn't oh. see yet. Uh, yeah, that would... And yes, a strength seven. check, sorry. Okay. So Disadvantage. I, Disadvantage. And I'm using this. Mm-hmm. It's an eight, right? A uh, one d eight. Yeah. If you want to use it. Yeah. Uno, uno d eight. Okay. Okay. That's actually. Okay. Okay. Uh, <coughs> uh, okay. Athletics. Correct. No. No. no strength. Just strength. strength. So strength. no proficiency. No proficiency. All oh, right. Oh, proficiency. Just your strength mode. Uh, that is seventeen. You get over maybe you nasty tongue! You uh, don't rip the tongue apart, but you manage to get a soon out and press it <sighs> no longer grapple. That was slow. And that's uh but down you would be just to be annoying. Are you standing here? No, he's standing next to you. And uh, at there? the end there, of yes. uh, at the end of my turn I draw my uh, sword. So and that's my turn. Okay. Door. No raised attacks from now on. Anything else you wanted to do? I move back behind <laughs> the table. Big sword. Big yeah. Sword. <laughs> well, then it is Thingamabob's turn. My and uh, as convenient as it is to no longer be grappled, this creature tries to grapple Bassoon. Yay! And uh, Bassoon has to make I a know. strength check. I know my course. Strength check. Grapple people. 14. It grabs you. you might know can I ask you something? Yeah. Uh, can I use my reaction when it n- it's not attacking me, but attacking one of the other members you of the party? Always use your reaction. Wait, can I? If you have a spell that requires I can use reaction. cutting words as a reaction. As a reaction. Yes. Whenever the thing makes an attack roll. Cutting words. Yes, and then I expend one of my uh, body inspirations and subtract the number I roll from the creature's roll. If it made a roll, it did make an attack roll. Oh, not an attack roll, but a, a, a grapple roll. Yeah. So That's cool. I'm going to use cutting it. words or cutting words. Cutting words. Cutting words. Six. Okay. Creature attack within six to make an attack roll. Ability to take a damage roll. Use your reaction to expend. Yes, that is uh, something you're very well. So why do that? And you what? Then it's four minus. It still hits. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> of course, yeah. Nice. If I had rolled five, mm-hmm. then maybe something else would happen. Oh. <laughs> Gosh uh, darn it. Uh, darn, darn it. But nice. Right. I didn't know that was a thing. That's pretty OP, actually. Yes. Also, you can do it on damage rolls and everything. But now I use all my body inspiration, so that's. Oh, so I would like to Wait, use. Uh, it is then. not your turn. <laughs> <laughs> Hellish <laughs> rebuke as a reaction to being attacked. You have yet to be attacked. Yeah, you have yet to. You've just been grappled. grappled. Okay, so I'm not. So, in one so moment, I didn't lose damage. In one moment, <laughs> you do okay. not. You take two damage, and then, <gasps> then you use I you use Hellish <laughs> rebuke. <laughs> and um, you roll a lot of die. I think. So, am I annoying for here. saying uh, that you have to point with Hellish rebuke? And he is grappled, he is not restrained. Oh, cool. Grappled and restrained. Uh, Same you thing. Point a, He's just like, get the fuck off of me, bro! <laughs> you point your creature uh, that damaged you <laughs> and surround and I'm surrounded by hellish flames. Mm-hmm. The creature must make a dexterity saving throw. Uh, it takes 2d10 fire damage on a failed save and half as much damage on a successful one. 2d10s. That's a lot of d10, man. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Uh, mm-hmm. Considering mm-hmm. that, what what did it have? What did I have to roll? Wisdom. Dexterity turn? save. Dex save. Considering that I'm literally attached to you right now, mm. I'm just gonna say that it fails the roll. Okay. Because we are connected to yeah. each other. Okay. Nice. 
Uh, yeah. Good These ones, right? <laughs> or yeah, D10. that's D10. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. Was so that D10? Yeah, I mean, yeah, sorry, UFOs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, nice, UFOs, nice, nice, all right. Uh, so two D10s, fire damage, and that is a... That zero is or ten? Uh, nine damage. Nine damage nine. of fire! Mm -hmm. It takes nine fire damage and goes... Get away from me! This big slimy mouth. Um, and... That is its turn. Then it is Pasun. All right. And you are still grappled. I'm still grappled. So and that means I'm doing everything at a disadvantage, or do I have to break free before I can do anything? Grapple means that your movement speed is zero. You cannot benefit from any bonus to movement speed. Condition ends if the grappler is uh, incapacitated. The condition also ends if the effect removes the grappled creature from the reach of the grappling effect such as when a creature is hurled away by the thunder wave spill for example so unless if you do something to get it away from you you mm. can spend your turn trying to escape the ground that is how i read it and th is that a dex uh, save or that would be up to you maybe or strength or something Ooh, i know what that uh, <laughs> A grapple creature can use its action to, turn to try and escape. Yeah. Uh, and you can choose whether you want to use acrobatics or athletics. All right. Against, yes, against my. All right, then I, I would like to try to escape. Mm -hmm. And I would like to use acrobatics. Yeah. Go for it. <laughs> That's cacked. Cacked. <laughs> That is, uh, where is it? There it is. That is 16. You escape. Get away from me. Okay. And then uh, I would like to try and uh, move away from the creature. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess you towards the me. middle of the room here. Yeah. So like a five, That's a ten, you... As you try to move away, the tongue again yeah. comes at you and grabs you. Ah, <laughs> oh, god dang it! Does not grab you. Oh. Yeah. That's okay. Oh. Sorry, I'm gonna show that. It's okay. Beastie. And uh, I end my turn. Mm -hmm. Then it is. Can be true. I'm gonna just punch it. Punch real fast. One, two. Uh, and that is uh, a an, a 15. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it's... <laughs> <you say something>. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay, that's good. Cool. I haven't duped that it's armor class yet, so I was like, oh yeah, it has armor class. It hits. Can and it? use a key point to do stunning strike. Mm -hmm. But you get five damage first. Five damage. Uh, and what do I have to roll? Stick it with the pointy end. to roll a constitution saving throw DC 14. DC 14. Oh, fuck, I'm gonna act, uh, I'm gonna attack again. And that's an uh, 14. You hit. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Stunning. That's five damage again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I am gonna attack it as a bonus action. Uh, and that's 25. You still hit. Ah. Without modifiers this time. Uh, so that's just three. Yeah. Try. Yeah. And uh, that's my turn. That is your turn. You stay where you are. Yes. Okay. Then it is. Oh, no. Whenever, oh, whenever I use Flurry of Blows, I have. Then it's Seek. Uh, how big is this guy? Uh, can I can can I? It see? is the size of, of the, the tank. Ah, so uh, Zeke, uh, he moves like this. Uh, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Oh. And then he goes like, uh, firebolt. Firebolt. Was that your big and plan? I, no, <laughs> master. But my plan, plan is because he was free, <laughs> so I don't. Oh. And that yields are wait uh, two here. Uh, that's nineteen. Mm -hmm. You hit. That's crazy, man. Two's and 19. UFO one and UFO two. 
the fourth hole. Oh, oh my lord, and that is 16 damage. 16. Fire damage. Fire? Of, of course. Crazy fireballs coming through here. And um, he just goes like, and then he um, he, <laughs> he moves like, uh, what's the, uh, uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 30 35. There you go. Then it is gone with gone. Uh, I point with my finger again and say unto thee with my vicious mockery You should wash your teeth The second breath coming Yeah See if you can advantage against that You should he wash doesn't, your he doesn't need it he rolls Brush your teeth Ah, <laughs> oh, god damn it <laughs> it, is, it has hurt that this enough times to care <laughs> And now I'm getting tired, so We're now I sewer pull out my sling. My so now I pull out my sling yeah. and start lowering it. Don't <laughs> hit me. Then and I take one step turn. this way. Thank you. <laughs> then it is Dominic's turn. Uh, alalala slashk. Alalala slashk. Alalala slashk. Slashk. Yeah. Monkey roll. One. El Shugo. Punchy punchy. Don't hit me. <laughs> I will let you. And as you go punchy punchy, you yeah. just feel a tongue <laughs> wrapping so around fuck. your hand. Oh. And I would like for you to make a strength saving throw. Okay. That's easy. You say that, but you're not. Uh, no. Uh, yeah, that's 11. You are currently held with this tongue that is just squeezing at your um, wrist. Fuck, fuck. And you take eight bludgeoning damage. Yeah. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. Bludgeoning damage. <laughs> All right. And that hurts. <laughs> Can I, um, <laughs> uh, the, I, I guess I, I, I can't really do, because I can't attack it with a second time, because it's True. holding. Uh, that's my turn. That's your turn. Then it is Monster's turn. Ow. Who ow, ow, tries ow, ow, to ow, squeeze, ow. squeeze you again. <laughs> yeah. Ow. And hits 23 armor class. Yeah, hits. What? Not naturally, but still hits. Uh, and you take another 8 bludgeoning damage. High five, six, and seven, as it eight. does that, like your, your wrist, you're just really holding on to your sword. Uh, which is a great sword, you're holding it with one hand? I was holding it with two hands when I Well, then, then you're just... Yeah, like this. You're yeah, held yeah, like this, yeah, I yeah, suppose. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you I feel think, the, um, the restraint okay. around your hands loosen, and you see this, what appears to be a big water tank, slowly <laughs> starting to move. And I would <laughs> like for you to move oh, this big so water tank over here on this square. Nice. Like oh, this. Attack of yeah. opportunity. Do I get another one? Attack of opportunity. Yeah. Uh, you do. No, yeah. it's, still, it's still inside your range. Oh. You and what it's you a big see water tank. is just a puff and then... <laughs> and then um, all of a sudden there are now six barrels where there were five before. Oh. Uh. <laughs> and I'm still... Oh, you know it, it loosened its grab on Oh, you. he's oh. free. But there are now six barrels. If you would be standing back where you were before. Oh, I was. Oh, I don't know. But I did not allow you to get a tank opportunity. It's hiding. No, of course not. So there's no water tank here? The water tank is now gone, and the valve is just like, plunk, landed on the ground. Oh, the Can I as a reaction? The valve was grab real. That valve. <laughs> the valve what? What? The valve was real. Valve? Can I grab it no. as a reaction? No. No. Um, then it's Masoon's turn. All right. So I've been looking in that direction. Remove number two. Oh, right. There are just oh, six, yeah, of course. six barrels there now. Okay. So the newly formed barrel. What? Okay. So the way I've been I, looking the, at it. The way that I would describe this yeah. is that as it moves over towards the barrel, yeah, so you yeah. see like a puff, yeah. and all of a sudden, ah, yeah, there are like six barrels. So okay. you can't. So I can't identify which one is the new one. I'll let you do a perception check. Let me try that. Perception like The more mimics in one room, the more fun. Oh fuck! Everything can be a mimic. A uh, cup of water can be a mimic. If you're brave enough. 13. 
you don't make out which one it is. Oh, oh wait, okay. actually, one second. That's not a bad uh, roll. Wearing blah blah blah. blah, blah, blah. Uh, um, no, you don't. You can't make it out. Okay. All right then. Was that my main action? No, no, no. Okay. That was me giving you. That a was our reaction. Okay. Uh, sure. All right. All right. All right. All right. Then I guess I would like to use a level one uh, magic missile, mm-hmm. uh, which is three dots. Yeah. So that's at and least there are, uh, six. there are six barrels. So uh, do I have to say which one ones I want to try? To I attack? will. Since you're shooting at half of them, yeah. I will let you roll a d6, and if it's an even number or odd number, just tell me that. Wait, wait, don't tell me yet. I have to think of one first. Okay, what did you roll? Even or odd? Even. So you go, choo, choo, and with the last one, you hear like a <laughs> sound. <laughs> 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 and it is the barrel on the top left. Okay, so one dot damage. Right, yes. Yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> that's five damage. Five damage. Yep. It takes five damage. All right. So I would just like to uh, step five, ten, fifteen mm-hmm. over there, and. Uh, like shooting fish in a barrel. Oh, and then yeah. um, that's my turn. That's your turn. Okay, your turn. Yes. Well, do I hear that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you heard yeah. nothing. Um, how big is this barrel? Ordinary barrel size. Probably your height. <laughs> oh, they're that big. Damn it. I'm going gonna, gonna to throw it away. <laughs> strong, uh, strong Body slam. Strong wolf. I'm uh, gonna punch go break. up here yeah. and try and kick it away from me. And I'm gonna use a flurry of blows. Okay. Because then I can kick it 15 feet away from me. Flurry! Okay. So I'm, I'm gonna attack it yes. once. Uh, and that's a 16. You hit. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, five damage. Yes. Wow. And I'm gonna kick it again. Kick! Uh, that's 12. You hit? Yeah! <laughs> King and again. Uh, yeah. That is... Oh, it was 6 damage before, now it's 5. So, 5 and 6 damage. So 11 damage in total. Yes. And okay. I uh, use Flurry of Blows. Mm-hmm. Did you remove it? I'm gonna... You oh, that's what you do now. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna... Punch, punch, kick, kick, it flies 15 feet this way, boom, into the wall. Okay. Yeah. It's wall damage. Uh, I don't know if it does anything. I'm going to run to it and I'm going to kick it twice. <laughs> <laughs> you have four attacks. He's mad. Rumble four in the jungle. Oh. Two bonus actions. There you go. But it's <laughs> both off and attack. Yeah. So you don't get your modifier added. Uh, but I do on attack rolls, right? Yeah, yeah but yeah. not on your damage. Yeah. 18. You hit. No damage. Uh, five damage. Mm-hmm. Another. And the last one. Uh, that's uh, 21. You hit. And that's five damage again. So what happens is you go choom! <laughs> Afterwards, <laughs> you see how this um, this barrel that has in cracked into the wall, as it hit the wall and then landed down on the ground, it instantly transformed into a chair. <laughs> and then instantly it goes into a table and then in the end you just see how it's what appears to be a chest with its tongue hanging out and just lies on the ground. Oh! Ooh. And the mimic is dead. <laughs> and you're out of combat. Wow. You really kicked that. was easy. Ah, thank God I was here. <sighs> I did what? nothing to say. How, so <laughs> you did nothing. <laughs> you did nothing. Um, <laughs> you just did. Are you alright? Oh, you just kicked oh, 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 behind the table. Well, okay. Yes. I did. I'm fine. Good. <laughs> you can remove. Oh yeah. yeah. It's great. I'm oh, gonna um, remove it and then look for the valve. Uh, you in shove your anger. Off, you you shove it. off this. Uh, just seems in your uh, anger. anger. You kill the valve. or a chest <laughs> yeah. and see that below it on the ground is a valve. 
So uh, I'm gonna take the valve with one hand and I'm gonna take its tongue with the other and try to swing it around, saying, Dom, can you use this for anything? Uh, <laughs> not really. Are you sure? I think it hits quite... Uh, I have this. Oh, that's true. I'm gonna throw it to you. What about you, Gon? Wait, are you just swinging around? I'm held holding dead. it by the tongue. Yeah. It's a pretty big creature. Oh, is it? See, it's, I mean, the chest is probably the size of you. Oh, I don't throw it anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> you just push it towards me. Thank you, I have this. Take it, take it. Put it in the backpack. It's fair. <laughs> I'm just going to shove the tongue inside the chest. Is that a nunjaku? Uh, are there any Surprise treasure inside? Uh, I tried to look for tre treasures in inside the mouth. Okay. Nah, nothing. Do we need no. teeth or tongue? I'm good. Mm -hmm. With or without tongue? Teethling. Well, we got this. Who? That's nice. Well, check it out. Uh, is, yeah. is there a symbol or anything? You take it up and in the same area now that you know where to look, that you saw the dents. Previously, you see that this one has four dents. <gasps> we missed one. So we have one, two, and four now. So there's a three. And that one. is seven in total. Ah, you're counting dents now. What? Oh, uh, what? Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. By the uh, use of magical numbers. Oh, <laughs> magic. But we still need the three. <laughs> If there's the one with four dents, then there must be one with three dents. Well, the one we did take a right turn where we could have gone straight. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's uh, let's Double get back. out of this, uh, this room and, uh, and then try and look further ahead. I think, yeah, let's just scan around and... I mean, yeah. further ahead or, further ahead, or yeah. go back towards the other way. Yeah, I say true. let's c continue this way we are. Yeah, yeah and let's yeah. see when, when, it ends, uh, All right. when it ends. I follow your lead. Flippity flop. You make your way out yeah. with the belt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's there. Oh. Sorry. And come out into the open area. Sorry. Again, now the water is still going towards you. Mm -hmm. You see that there is an opening leading this way with a big pipe. Uh, coming out, kind of blocking off the opportunity to walk on the pathway, but there's grits. You can't really see it. I'll show you. Uh, there are grits there and steps. Oh, um, grits, making <laughs> it possible to move forward for a while. How and how far up is that pipe? It is a pretty big pipe. It blocks oh. off the entire okay. uh, pathway. Um, oh. And you see that down here it continues. There's water coming out in the bottom. It's not a, a big flow by any means coming out and that the path continues to the right. Okay. Uh, I say we take a left and then right, let's go. You want to walk on the, on the grid? Yeah. I'll, st I'll step on the grid and then... Yeah. Okay. Check it out. Yeah, I'm going to check it out. I'm stepping on the grid. You make your way. Yep. Okay. Down here. And again, this pipe follows as far as uh, you can see all the way down to the end here. Um, the grid seems to have, like one of them seems to have been removed at some point. Uh, and down in the end. Hmm. You see that it's a dead end. It's a dead end. Is there something in the water? Uh, I, don't I, don't know. I would like to use the Tegmatic as a ritual. You stay in here for 10 minutes. <coughs> I'm just looking. Then I'll uh, look around the pipe to see if there's anything uh, of you note on it. Sense anything. How, any uh, do you? how far is, how far, how deep is the water? You can't see the bottom. But, uh, uh, the, the Don't is jump in there, no, Kevin. It's just, uh, what about your reach? Can you see if, if how, how deep is, how deep, yeah. how deep is I can, it? Uh, I can try and, uh, Stick my sword. I'm gonna around, around a meter. Yeah. Uh, is this the end? Oh, you can't see through that. No. So sorry. Oof. That's what I. Okay. Oh. Ah, yeah. Okay. Ah. So it ends right there. Mm. Yes, yes, I'm gonna the do end. the uh, Pokemon yeah. game and see if I can find treasure. Hidden treasure. Uh, so um, that's a dead end over there. Mm. Uh, I don't think anything's in the water. I don't think so. It doesn't look mm -hmm. like it. It's like one meter, meter deep. 
Mm-hmm. Why is that grid removed? Yeah, that's a good question. That is a. Can we reach it? Yes. We can also check the uh, the end of the tunnel and see if we could close it. Maybe with the hidden? grid back. Yeah, yeah we can try that. Uh, can, can I grab the grid? That's mm-hmm. been loosened. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna try and see if I can like pull it back and sh- cover. Cover. You <laughs> pull it alongside and <coughs> get it down. Now I have not made not it that, that way, but now there's yeah. a grid where before. Yeah, yeah. I know bad map maker. I know. Uh, there are now there is a grid where before there wasn't. Yeah. We can. Um, now we can walk safely. Yeah. yeah. So we can check it out. And as you put the grid down, realize you're now all safe to walk across. That's where we end today's session. Oh. Oh. Thank you all so much for tuning in. We will see you all next time. For more sewer action. For more D&D. D&D. Dungeons and sewers.